the kids. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Twenty-seven years ago, whilst enjoying a day out in Santa Barbara, California with my brother and the kids, we came across a shop called Stampa Barbara. Santa Barbara, Stampa Barbara, we had to go in. And when we ventured inside, we were met with walls of wood-mounted rubber stamps. Well, that's when I had my moment of clarity. Wouldn't it make more sense, I said to my brother, if you could see through the rubber stamps? And that's where Clarity Stamp was born. Since then, Clarity has grown into the worldwide success it is today, bringing you the very best in stamping, parchment craft, and more recently, die cutting. To celebrate our 27th birthday, we have joined with Hochanda to bring you a long weekend of your favourite Clarity products with your favourite Clarity demonstrators. So, put the kettle on, put your feet up and join us for our 27th birthday celebrations on Friday the 4th of September from 10am to Monday the 7th of September at 5pm. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. morning in the Sunday morning obviously <laughs> yeah, we have got here now at Hachanda we are celebrating celebrating an amazing anniversary because of course it's search press but it's not it's 50 years it is incredible now to celebrate we have got one of their uh, authors but also an ambassador we have got Tilly Rose here in the studio hello Tilly hi how morning. are you oh it's early good morning <laughs> it is very early I always find it at 7 a.m. on especially on a Sunday morning it's a little bit of a, a gets <laughs> Getting used to it, but yes. now so we are celebrating 50 years of yes. Search Press. Yeah, big celebration. It is a big celebration. Big celebration. It's, it's a little bit different because obviously, uh, because of the circumstances that we're in, we were going to do loads and loads of celebrations at big events and bits and bobs. So it's really exciting to be able to bring it to the Chanda and just share that knowledge of uh, Search Press, really. Yeah. Now, um, for anybody who doesn't know or maybe doesn't realize how big a Search Press is and how many 
years they have been in business. Can you tell us a little bit more uh, about the company? Yeah, so Surge Press um, obviously have been, you know, 50 years of in the publishing, um, you know, environment as such. Um, uh, they're, um, they've received so many publishing awards over the time because they specialise in arts and crafts. Um, that, that's their expertise. They specialise also in choosing authors who um, kind of can really showcase their expertise and pass that knowledge on to you know their viewers. Um, and over the years, um, obviously, you know, um, viewers will know that. Um, I, I mean, I've seen it at events. When you go to events, people come and look for Search Press because they know that they're going to get these really good quality books with beautiful photographs. They take their time and they get they take the time to get to know the authors. And in, in doing so, they're able to produce beautiful books that represent those authors yeah. and their you know their different areas of crafting. Really, yeah. creativity. And it is kind of a family company, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah. So it's based in Tunbridge Wells, um, and I've been down there quite a few times but um, yeah it's a lovely family company in terms of everybody kind of knows each other's role um, and you know they're, they're sort of that interaction you know it's very informal when I went down the very first time um, one of the guys down there he had brought his dog into uh, work in the office you know they do, it, they it's do. really yeah. informal but it's lovely and they all share you know their passion for different creative sort of styles really so and yeah how did you get involved with such press um, so I was a uh, demo in um, uh, for um, for Search Press showcasing their books um, on um, another channel. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, um, we are. But um, through that, I got to know the lady in marketing quite well. And when I was doing um, an exhibition up in New Toxeter, um, she came to see me. Um, and actually sort of said, um, have you ever thought about writing a book? And my husband at the time was stood next to me and he went, oh, that's a dream come true, you know. And I thought, oh, I'd never be able to do that. Um, and so really, it was, that's how I got to end up um, actually writing my book. Um, and then through that, um, that came out in 2018. And um, through that, um, yeah, I've been involved with, you know, lots of events, uh, got to know, obviously, the viewers and um, customers at different er er events. And, um, and really, from my perspective, I, because I know the hard work that's gone into every single book that's produced from an author's point of view, you know, for me, it's quite um, sort of... I want to shout out for all the authors out there, really, uh, it? because it's a lovely process, but it's hard work. It is. It is hard work. Yeah, yeah it but is it's hard lovely. Work. Yeah, it is hard work. But we are going to celebrate, of course, the 50th birthday of Search Press with, I need to mention, that we are going to have free gifts with every uh, book that we are going to showcase. Every free gift uh, will be different in depending on which bundle. So I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible which one you get with one. So. All the ones that we have got in front of us will have, uh, with the free gift that you can see in here, this is the one that you will not pay for and you will get it included, which is knitted boot cuffs. And of course, look at the penguins. There are so many different ideas that you can use. And even, it, well, the 20 to make is, I believe, our Leonie Pujol, the her book of an ATCs, that was the 20 to make. So not, do not be fooled by the smaller size of these books because they are full of ideas and inspirations in these books as well. Right, the, we have got, we are going to go through the different options that we have got. In front of me, I have got the gorgeous felted animal knits. This has completely stolen my heart. Tilly, mm -hmm. you, there is so many beautiful... Uh, animals in here, don't they? Yes, they are. Um, and uh, when um, when you look through, this is actually um, a book for um, viewers to actually knit and then felt their um, animals. So um, she runs through the um, you know the instructions on how you do that, and then you can needle felt on top of your felted animals. Um, when we come back, are we coming back and I'll, yeah. I'll just yeah, show you? Yeah, we will show you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then I will, the, if you want to go for felted animal nets, uh, 095331 is your item number. And remember that you are going to get the felted animal uh, nets and as well the knitted boot cuffs as well. So you are getting those two. £14.99 is the price. Now, the next one that we have got for you is a gorgeous. Uh, this one is the fairy tales blankets to crochet. But 
Now, of course, you can see in here, this step by step, the pictures. This is what we were talking about, the photography, the step by step, the beautiful uh, kind of style uh, pictures as well. It's such a beautiful process with Search Press and the quality is from, oh, look at that little red riding hood, what such a gorgeous, oh, look, look at that, isn't that just, they are such a cool project. Now, if you want to go for this one, remember that you are going to get the um, May 20, 20 to make knitted book, of, uh, book of worth £4.99, but you are not paying for this. You are only paying for the fairy tale blankets for £12.99. 2 to 1, a 0 9 is your item number then we have got oh I love rainbows and I love wreaths so this is crochet uh, wreaths for the home and look at that it's just beautiful look at the different projects you can make create <gasps> Christmas look at the robin and look at the hedgehog there's so many we will look them at uh, a little bit more detail in a second with Tilly but I just wanted to mention that I give you the item numbers uh, 236558 and remember that you're paying 12.99 but you are also getting the knitted book curves uh, that's 12.99 then we are moving on to the next one which is the fair uh, the you know what? It's knitting. It's the Fair Isle knitting. I don't like knitting. Is the one thing I am useless, absolutely useless. Well, that I'm thinking, but I see these projects and I just want it because it's such a cool. It's a proper cool knitting patterns, traditional. Look at those ones. I'm just kind of thinking that this is just. Look at that little, little dress, little, you know, maybe seven-year-old girl with that dress. I don't know, or my niece, this is nine, uh, no, eight, eight. Oh, I got her age wrong. Uh, look, how gorgeous. I love this pattern. So if you want to go for Fair Isle uh, knitting up at book, uh, you remember that you are getting the free book. Of course, you get it that for £14.99. Remember, you are only paying for the book, the Fair Isle knitting. Now, the item number 752311 is your item number. But this one is the one that is my favorite. Uh, this one is a crochet but it's Fair Isle and Workshop. And look at that. And remember that again, with this one, you are getting again the knitted boot cuffs. 9.99 is the price, all your pain. And remember, you're getting both of those ones. And look at these ones. Look at how gorgeous is that? It's just so stylish. I absolutely adore this. I just think it's something a bit cool, but even though it's very traditional as well, but it's just the sort of patterns that it just will look amazing on a completely contemporary home. Also completely traditional uh, decorations. I just think it's the colors used, the patterns used. It is something incredibly powerful as well. 9.99 is the price. Do not forget it that you are getting the free book. 717433. Now we are going to join Tilly. Of course, she's here as an ambassador for Search Press. We are celebrating 50 years. Can you show us especially the Felt Out Animals book? Yeah, yeah. So I've got it in front of me and uh, I'm just going to run through some of the things I thought I would showcase really. Um, some of the elements inside the lovely book um, and really why um, I think you know just little elements out of the things that I uh, have picked up so um, this book is written by Catherine um, Arnfield and um, at the beginning as I mentioned um, it so it's 20 projects uh, to knit and then you actually felt them so if I am I there there we go um, you can see these are all the various little projects. There's some adorable, adorable oh. little animals. Um, and she runs through um, at the beginning. If I just, before I show you the projects, I just want to sort of showcase really. Um, she teaches you the basics in knitting. So really all you need to know is how to cast on and do a knit and a purl. That's the real basics. And then once you've um, learned to shape, and she shows you here, just little elements, <clears throat> how to create, um, you know, their heads and their shapes of their body. Uh, she runs through all that for you. So if you're a beginner, um, what I love um, is actually how she breaks it down into that small process. And then you, she goes on to showing how you sew up your little animal. So you knit it first, uh, you sew it all, and then um, you um, obviously felt. Right. Now, there is a little example, if you just bear with me one second, here we go. Um, so she shows you how she creates the ears, um, the tummies, 
um, and how the you know the process sort of goes through from knitted to felted um, and then the wet felting process so here just for anybody who's not sure this is what you would knit as a little tummy yes. um, you would wash it and she shows you how you can do that in a, a, a little bowl um, and then it felts down so felt is one right. of the oldest um, crafts really um, you know from sheep's wool going back years and years and years of how we created fabrics um, and this is just taking those real sort of traditional elements and giving it a modern twist so I'm gonna run through to the okay. projects okay I'm, I've only picked out a couple because I don't want to um, so this is Pickle, excuse all my notes on the side. Look, Pickle the Dutch Hound, isn't he gorgeous? He's I just so think cute. he's adorable. Um, and then she, she describes in all the projects, so you get a list of the colours of the yarns um, and the type of needles that you would need to, to knit him. And here's your instructions for knitting, um, and then obviously how you turn him into a gorgeous little Dutch hound, and sewing him up and wet felting. Okay, so each project is um, laid out, you know, very very um, uh, easy to follow. Um, and then, so we've got cocoa and waffle, <laughs> the alpacas. Um, but I'm just going to run through to the back because this is two oh, that the I picked up. The gray so rosemary the and thyme, the squirrels, aren't they adorable? They are. I just love. And look, the little tiny detail that you sort of, you know, get and that you can create. Um, but this is the time of year. We're going into autumn and yes. winter, you know, where you cozy up and you want a little project by the fire. Um, and you can knit just a little leg or a little arm. You don't have to have a massive big project. Not everybody wants a big, big project. Um, but you can see how you can create those little elements. And then obviously you can uh, sew on some details for the, um, you know, the, the design um, and then add needle felting on top. So she shows the little acorns here, look, how you can wet felt with from a piece of little tiny yarn there. So yeah, I think that's absolutely beautiful. And Biscuit, the schnauzer. Oh, look <laughs> at that! <laughs> it's so cute! I know, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Although they're not toys, um, I was uh, reading through, they're, they're not toys, um, but they're obviously little ornaments. Yeah. But think beyond the box, because I'm a sewer, I would love Biscuit to be a little pin cushion. Yes. It or, um, you know, you can put little bits and, or you could put jewellery on there and be a little jewellery ornament holder. Think, you know, not just a toy. So, yes, you get 20 projects in there. Beautiful. Uh, uh, thank you, Thilly, for showing that. Remember that the book comes as well with the uh, 20 to make knitted boot cuffs and now worth uh, 4 99 So you are getting both for £14.99. 095-331 is your item number. But let's have a look at the fairy tales blankets because this is a different sort of project. And remember, again, you are getting the knitted boot cuffs uh, free with this one book as well. You are. So this one, I have to say, is a little bit of a, my favorite Ooh. not just the favorite but a little bit I'm just going to turn it over because on the back of each book is a little blurb and um, I don't know if I won't read it all out but it says here do you have a little bookworm in your life or someone who loves to act out stories crochet them a hooded blanket inspired by their favorite characters so um, you know children don't like to sort of wear jumpers and cardigans and you know going into that sort of autumn fall um, but give them a blanket and they'll snuggle up and what I love about this is um, it's fairy tale blankets to crochet um, and there's 10 projects in here um, so uh, look I've got all my notes I do apologize I've got to try to remember um, so this has been inspired really by all those fairy tale uh, traditional fairy tales and there's a couple of quotes in here I'm only going to read you one uh, just it says everything you look at can become a fairy tale and you can get a story from everything you touch which I think oh, is beautiful that's so powerful isn't it's it? Hans Christian Andersen ah. um, and the um, who, who's the lady who writes? Lynn Rowe. I wanted to make sure I said her name right there. She's been inspired by those traditional fairy tales. Um, so these, she's she's um, designed the um, book in such a way that the blankets are just basic crochet um, patterns. And if I just zip through again, similar to the previous book, she shows you how to crochet, how to do your techniques, um, and then. Each, um, let me just here. So each blanket um, is actually created from a square or um, a rectangle, and then you've got your little hood. 
Oh, okay. That's so adorable. So they're just very basic patterns and they're a real different take on crochet, if I'm really honest. But you get a little bonus because on each project, so this is the first one, Polar Bear. I'll just stay with this one first. But in each project, not only do you get the blanket that will, um, you know, wrap around with the hood, you also get a bunting garland for every design. So we've got polar bear. I'm just going to run through just a few just to give um, viewers um, an idea. And these are for girls and boys. Um, you know, they're no particular sort of set um, designs. But I think these would make brilliant... Um, you know when uh, schools do um, book day? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because yeah. um, yeah. not everybody World wants to... Day. World book day. Um, or story... Um, you know, some people have story weeks where the children can dress up or dress down day. They don't need to wear a uniform. Not every person... I, I've got a background in education, and I know not every child enjoys dressing up in a full costume um, but give them a blanket that they can literally just put a hood on and they're, yeah. they're they're automatically changed into you know a different character so princess or prince uh, let's flick through to another couple so a unicorn look at this oh, isn't that that's beautiful so cute. and this rainbow this crochet garland rainbow oh, that's gorgeous. Um, so you can sort of incorporate um, you know into I've got to show you this one as well the lion and I would imagine that paws. once that you do one it's kind of a it's easy it's to easier pick to it do up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also what I like as well anybody who does crochet knows that if you've got a square pattern or a, a, a rectangular pattern um, and you design it for a two three-year-old that size you just size up for a teenager and I can guarantee there will be teenagers who will want to really dress I up mean, and I'm I knew you were going to say, but, but I, well, I mean, I'm the size of a child, so probably um, it would fit perfectly. It, yeah, yeah, well, I, I just think they're brilliant. Um, they are designed uh, in two categories. So you've got toddlers that are aged two to four, and then young children aged five to seven. But if you add it a little bit more and size up, as I say, they can grow um, into you know bigger projects. Yeah. So I think I'm a, a tall seven seven year old. <laughs> that's what I am. Um, so we've got fish. I'll just run through just a couple. I don't want to obviously show loads because yeah. obviously you won't have that excitement of opening your book. Um, <gasps> this one for Christmas. Now, if I show you here, let me just get the right page. So <gasps> festive elf. Um, with your little sort of candy canes look. How cool would that be, a pyjama yeah. I think our floor Christmas manager, Eve. Mad, would look lovely on yeah. one of those. <laughs> In his pyjamas for Christmas Eve. Yeah. Um, but it gives you um, also the skill level, I forgot to mention. So if you are only a beginner, you might want to choose one um, that is an easy... This one is an easier to intermediate. So this is assuming that you know the real basics and you're just wanting to push yourself a little bit more, maybe with sort of, you know, the um, adding the gloves here or creating the hood. Um, but if you think, actually, I just want to do a basic blanket, all of these will give you a pattern that um, you can create the blanket and take the hood off as a starting point, and then you might want to progress on to adding it into a costume. It so is absolutely gorgeous. I think, Isn't actually, this will be very, very popular. It would, yeah. Yes. And, of course, it's definitely very popular. Fairy tale blankets to crochet book. Uh, remember that you are not paying for the knitted book cost, but you are getting it with it. For £12.99, you are going to get both of those books, of course, the beautiful fairy tale blankets, two to one. 1093. Then we have got the crochet wreaths as well and remember do not forget that you are getting that free book included. Now Tilly it is absolutely stunning this book as well. Um, straight away, I have to say, Search Press are absolutely brilliant. Um, I can really shout and honestly say hand on heart. Uh, I ha Over the time since my book has actually been um, published um, so, so many people say I just adore the photographs and I have to say Search Press really take the time in all of the photo photography for all of their books um, and before you've even opened this book you've got this striking. beautiful, beautiful image that's just inviting you in. Um, so this is uh, 12 wreaths and mini projects that you can use all through the year. Um, so I'm just going to open just literally inside the cover to give viewers um, an idea. Now. Um, when you sort of say wreaths, people think obviously it's a whole complete um, garland or a whole complete wreath. But you can see these are just the tiny elements um, that you can use in your crochet. Um, and you can actually create different wreaths for different times and different seasons. So you may be somebody at home that celebrates the seasons. 
Um, you may use it in schools, in your, um, you know, <laughs> isn't it adorable? Um, but I'm just going to show here. This, these are the projects. Um, but you can see, and this is obviously the one that's on the front cover. But you can use them. So we've got Valentine wreath, berry wreath. Use them for different celebrations as well. So you may want to give Valentine wreath. Um, you could turn that into a wedding oh, wreath, wedding, you know, or an engagement, or um, almost like um, a, a welcome to a new home. Uh, sort of little wreath. You've got Halloween. <laughs> I love this one. That's and so uh, the Christmas with the little stockings. And then the winter wreath. I think this one's adorable. Um, so I'm just going to run through. And again, um, the crochet at the beginning shows you how to, um, you know, do all the techniques. They, uh, <gasps> they're very clever at putting all the techniques love, in. Love that with the, um, the bird nest. Is it the bird nest with eggs? Yes, or? yes. And also, what I love as well, not only is it crochet, she combines her work with all the natural elements. Um, so I've put a little note on here that I, I, I love the fact that she's taken elements from, and you've got some wheat here, look. Um, elements, natural elements, and then mixed it in with her designs. That's what I really, really love. And she works, you can um, make your wreaths out of the embroidery hoops, you can do it on a, a willow wreath, um, or you could create your own, you know, you could create, look at this little ass, gorgeous. So little leaves. And again, what I love also is going into winter, um, as I said, uh, you know, a little, a few minutes ago, not everybody wants a big project, a big blanket or a big, you know, throw or whatever. A lot of people enjoy the elements of just creating those tiny, tiny little elements and then having a project of actually putting them together. Let's look at our little Robin. Oh. Adorable, adorable. Um, and then I'm just going to scroll on to, let me just find you. Here's the autumn wreath. Now she's added some little um, lights and some fur cones. This is what I mean about adding the, the natural elements in there. And then I'm going to show you for berry wreath. This is for um, a beautiful one for Yuletide if you um, want something completely different. So if you go out for a walk with your family, collect a stick here. Um, and then she's created, look, the holly um, and the berries to actually go and around it's it. It's such a different wreath that one, it is. isn't it? Yeah. It is. But if she, all the little elements here, if you look down on here, she's actually put um, beading in with her crochet. Oh, so you can take it to the next level and, um, you know, you can make it as simple or as um, complicated as you want it to. And um, yeah. This one, I have to say, is my favourite. Oh, it's gorgeous. Twelve ninety nine is the price for this beautiful crochet uh, wreath. Uh, Twelve ninety nine is the price uh, for them. And remember the free uh, gift in there. And then, of course, we have got uh, the uh, next one, uh, the Fair Isle knitting one. Uh, here you can see, a oh, look at this one. Um, there we have got. Now, can can you show us a little bit of the Fair Isle knitting? I can now. Um, so Fair Isle knitting is um, by Monica Russell. I know Monica. We've met at an event. Oh. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what Fair Isle knitting is, I actually brought these in because this I was inspired by this book to create my own little. Um, put them here. Um, I've used one of the patterns in Monica's book. I'll run through in a second. But Fair Isle knitting is basically, some people know it as intarsia. It used to be quite popular as intarsia. Um, and it was inspired by the traditional patterns in Scotland of creating the different yarns. So you actually knit up, instead of just, you just do knit and purl. Uh, so you've got a front and a back, and I'm just going to take this off just to show viewers what Fair Isle looks like on the back. And it's where you actually carry your knitting across the back. Okay, so you don't ever sort of cut your knitting as you go along unless it's small pieces. But you can see it just, it's another element of knitting that you can add in your own designs. So this lovely, I'm just going to put them on here just to show really how um, very little pattern is needed and you can create something quite simple really. This is gorgeous. So I've used some of her pattern and then created my own little, you know, uh, wrist wristlets or wrist cuffs, whatever you want to sort of call them. Um, Monica um, goes through, it's, uh, I love, absolutely love the, uh, the colours and the textures in this book. Um, she introduces um, 
fair isle knitting and gives you a little bit of history so for anybody out there who enjoys reading around the subject um, she explains a little bit about all do, uh, using different yarns and different textures so not just your normal double knitting that most people would start on she introduces lots of um, sort of hand uh, dyed knitting and how she can add her embellishments and then as you work your way through let's just go through here um, past there. Okay, so what she's actually created, I'm going to take these off so you don't get confused. Um, how you can use um, the designs into a project. So you can see here uh, little projects, little designs, you can put them into sleeves, into actual boot cuffs or uh, wristlets like we've got on the free little giveaway today. Uh, not the bonus book, sorry. Um, but she's put them into hats. Um, and then what she's done is, if I just run through as an example, these are little um, designs that, this is your basic design, okay, and she gives you all your uh, rows. So she'll give you, um, a tell, tell you how many stitches and how many rows creates that little square. And if you want to put that into a project, all you have to do is then extend that. So if you've got in your project, um, we've got 16 stitches here. Um, and yours, <coughs> excuse me, would be 16 and then 16 and 16. And you keep going and build it up into your project, okay? Um, so you can start with small little samples. Um, and you can see, if I just sort of show you through, it's not just patterns. So we've got hearts, look, dancing ladies, um, lace, bricks. These have all been inspired by the actual designs that you find um, up in Scotland. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, Just get an idea. Right. It's beautiful book. A seven five two three one one is the item number. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. And remember, it comes with that free uh, twenty to make a knitted bird cuffs uh, with it. So you are getting both of them for fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. And then final idea from this, but this sort of the ones that come with this particular free book, uh, we're going to show you the Fair Isle Crochet Workshop. I think this is my favourite. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it, Tilly? Uh, yes, it's. Um, I'm just getting something just to compare it. Um, the Fair Isle Crochet book, I've never actually seen a book that's devoted crochet to Fair Isle. Fair Isle is usually connected to knitting. And um, when you mention crochet, so most people think of crochet as granny squares. Okay, so this is your traditional crochet. Okay. Um, what I love about this one is that um, she's actually um, given it a real modern uh, contemporary feel. So um, I'm just going to open, just run through. Um, again, it's similar style to um, Monica's um, Fair Isle knitting, okay, but she's a uh, she's um, changed it obviously into a crochet pattern um, so you've got projects in here that are sort of um, they give them a little bit of a modern take really which is lovely so all around sort of you know not your general with your little babies you usually get pink and blue and you you know your little cute designs these are cute designs in so such a different way such a different way and it's really really lovely um, because you can create sort of little characters you can create your um, wording and your patterns and I've just marked here look at her uh, cuddle bunny oh isn't they adorable, adorable. Um, and then we've got plant pot holder now this is um, a lovely design here and again she takes inspiration from uh, traditional designs I love that and explains you so not everybody can read a pattern in terms of in they enjoy reading a pattern she actually shows you the diagrams here um, so this is a, tr a traditional way of reading a crochet pattern and she's put the little markers on here. So if you are um, somebody who doesn't enjoy reading a pattern when you're crocheting, you'd prefer to look at a visual, um, there's that aspect here. I'm just going to run through. I actually think this is a really good book for anybody who um, is sort of going off to uni and wants a new skill and wants to be able to add their own little elements, you know, maybe into their first home or their flat or... Um, not just for students, but it just, 
you know, often when you sort of start a new pathway, you want to be creative in a different way, Indeed. you know. Um, or you might have just got your first house. Maybe you want to add, you know, some own little cushions. But again, um, all the details are in there and all the projects, and you've got to throw. So if you want to take it one step further and make a bigger pro project, obviously um, you can. But as I say, that's the first time I've ever seen a book with fair isle crochet, not fair isle knitting. Yeah. Um, so this is a brilliant uh, way if you are like a crochet, uh, a crocheteer, <laughs> I can't even call it a crocheteer, <laughs> or a knitter and you want to try something a bit different and original and extraordinarily beautiful. Feral um, Crochet Workshop, remember it comes with the gorgeous knitted book cuffs uh, together for $9.99. I think it's a phenomenal value for money. Think about Christmas presents already. 717433 is the item number. Now we have got another selection uh, of books, but this one comes uh, all of them come with another free gift. So if you go for this bundle, you will get the beautiful this one is the Four for Fun. Four for Fun. <laughs> we, from Alistair MacDonald. And you can see in here how he teaches you how to use Four for and uh, kind of accessorize, like maybe you uh, look at your hats, your handbags, and of course your gloves, and use them in ways that are kind of fun, but also very stylish in here. So this one, of course, is the uh, free gift that will be a feature in these uh, um, beautiful books. And this one is Felt Animal Feminine. Family, families, I can't even pronounce that. It's too early in the morning. Animal felt fan. <laughs> Felt animals, <laughs> fabulous. I don't know what it is with the F. Uh, right, Tilly, you 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 better pronounce <laughs> Over that. Over to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way out there. Um, yes. So this lovely book is by Corinne Lapierre, and I know Corinne. She's a, a friend of mine. Um, and I have to say, it's a, such a beautiful, beautiful book. Corinne. Um, spends such a long time really thinking and developing her characters um, and these are um, characters that um, you can make out of actual felt pieces if I should bring that down a little bit um, so this book here uh, felt animal families <laughs> um, have been it's been created by um, experiences really of her own family um, and she sort of explains at the beginning that um, she's got different families so you've got rabbit mouse fox deer the bear family raccoon but if you actually look at the sort of little characters of what they're doing all um, all of the families have been based on her own family experiences so holidays and day trips um, and you can see from the materials and tools, she uses actual felt squares, okay, and she yeah. runs through what sort of felts she prefers to um, use. And then she explains how you can transfer um, a template onto felt. I have to say, I love using felt because it's very gentle on your hands, um, and it's a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful material for working with children or anybody who's got any dexterity issues. It's, it's a gentle way. It's very way. forgiving as well, it isn't is, it? It is. Um, and she goes into explaining how she makes the clothes. Now, I, this takes me back to my childhood because I used to make clothes all the time. I've got to be honest, for my dolls and my teddies. Um, so this is a really, for me, I love the way that she introduces younger sewers um, into you know, starting off in craft, maybe in a different way that, you know, they will remember as they get older. Look at this, making a skirt with the the, uh, the little daisy print. And then she goes on to um, explain in the project. So you can see here's the individual characters. And you can make just obviously one, or you can make the whole family. So this is the raccoon family. Um, and she talks about the different little elements. Look at his shorts, isn't that gorgeous? Um, she gives you obviously the rundown on what you need but I think what I like about this is you don't have to buy all the materials in one go so if you just want to start off say with this little character here and you think yeah okay I'm happy and I, I you know I, I know how to, to sew together you then might want to extend um, and you know build up in your stash and once you've got your confidence you know you can sort of make bigger characters um, I've just got a couple here, the, the oh, mouse family, this is adorable. Um, so look, look, baby mouse in the Moses basket, grandpa with his glasses, how adorable. Um, and even sort of, um, well I guess she's, 
She's grandma or is she mother with her little skirt and shawl. That kind of looks, sums me up really with my knitting, ne <laughs> knitting needles and sewing, sewing uh, spools. But you can see how you can make your individual characters. And obviously you can then personalize them. If your children or your grandchildren want to actually do a, a particular color theme and create their own, you know, I think that's a really beautiful way of introducing your family to um, sewing. I love that. And just very quickly, if I've got time, look, the fox oh, family are fishing. Fox. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Look, the gorgeous. little fish is in the bucket. So they've been fishing. I just think that's adorable. And the fire, I just, she's really thought through the, the detail of each it little is, element. Yeah. I love it. I love the, it. It's absolutely brilliant. If you want this absolutely gorgeous felt animal family's books, I said it right. Uh, remember that it comes in with the four for fun. And of course, they are, look, Alison McDonald and Cor Corinne Lapierre books. But both of them will cost you just $9.99 because you are not paying for four fun. For for fun, <laughs> it's just so many Fs. Fs. Now, moving on, 943075 is the item number. Then we have got the gorgeous Take Two Fat Horses Home. Now, uh, that one again comes with the for for fun. Uh, you know, it's included. You are not paying extra for it, 9.99. What will we we'll find in this book? Okay, so this one, what I thought I would do, um, so anybody who's um, a, a newbie to sewing or maybe you might just sort of be thinking of changing your craft over winter and autumn, um, if you start sewing, um, not everybody has meters of fabric in your stash um, and quite often when you sort of buy fabric you, you tend to go for fat quarters. So no, I just bought this little bundle in to show but not everybody knows what a fat quarter actually is. So when you go to events and what have you, you quite often buy them in a bundle or you can buy them singly. And if I just open it out, um, just to give viewers really an idea, because this is what you create out of one um, fat, bun uh, fat quarter. Okay, so you can see it's not actually a huge piece of fabric, um, but this is the sort of thing that people would buy and then keep in their stash. Um, and this book by Wendy Gardner um, introduces you, so she has actually given you 16 projects um, of how you can use that fat quarter. Okay. And usually if you buy, um, if I just bring this in here, when you buy a little fat quarter bundle, they're often um, created in a way that all the colours or the designs actually match so that you can mix and match and do a bit of a patchwork and a creative way um, and it takes away that worry. And what she's done is use those fat quarters in projects. Um, so we've got um, cafetiere cosy, we've got a little basket liner, um, a little tidy roll, a notebook cover, bottle bag, an apron. And you can see down the bottom here, she sort of introduces, you know, the idea of the fat quarter and what, and what it actually means, um, similar to what I've, you know, I've just sort of said. So it's a good introduction if you're new to sewing or you may be thinking, I'll get my machine out. Um, but don't be put off if you're not um, a, a machine sewer. You can use the projects. Uh, you can be inspired by the projects and use them um, just simply by hand sewing them together. They are gorgeous. And it's only so, 9 99 Yes. And you can see, um, you can use little elements, you know, taken from other, uh, other um, items in your stash. So I'm just going to run through... She runs through, I won't show obviously loads, but. Yeah, uh, gorgeous. 9.99 is the price. Remember that you are getting the four for uh, fun a book included with this gorgeous book. Six to five, a three, seven, four is your item number. Then the next one we have got another take uh, on to fat quarters. And this one, of course, is for gifts. Now, can you show us the uh, fat quarters gifts one? Okay. Yes. So this is by Wendy again. Um, and it's the same format as the one we've just seen in the home, but this time this is for gifts. Um, uh, so again, using little fat quarters, and you can see here, look, two-tone teddy bear. Uh, this is created using two, two halves of a fat quarter. Um, so she runs through some ideas here, pencil case, all the sort of things that you could create. I love these, look, homemade Christmas crackers, how yeah. adorable are they? Um, and you can see, if you really look carefully, you only need tiny little elements, so a tiny bit of lace in your stash maybe, um, you know, how you can put them together. And we've got um, a little dress again. Oh, love Isn't that adorable? That. Adorable. So cute. So and that's with fat quarters. They're with fat quarters. And you've got a little lunch bag. You've got children going back to school. You know, think of little projects that you can actually use 
um, a retro purse. I love that. That's really beautiful. That's, that's and cool. then if you if you've made the basics, so she's kind of given you the starting project, and you may want to put some embellishments on top of that. Then, um, so this is a really good kind of a base yeah, um, that you can so. um, run through, and you and get sixteen projects in there. And it's only nine ninety nine, and you are getting the uh, four for fun as well included in there. Nine ninety nine eight four zero six three seven is your item number. Then we have got a learn to sew in fifty minutes machine sew so, uh, thirty minutes. Oh, but you know even t twenty minutes less than I thought. Uh, now twenty five quick and easy projects to build your skills. That is a phenomenal book for a beginner, I would imagine, Tilly. Yeah, so this one um, introduces you again to uh, machine sewing. So she runs through um, at the beginning, which I actually like. Um, some books tend to forget to do this, is introduce your fabrics. Not everybody knows which fabric is, is, is what fabric as such. You hear all the names and when you go to events and things and you think, okay, I've heard of linen, I've heard of cotton, I'm not quite sure what I should be using. Um, I get that question all the time. Then she runs through your sewing machine. So if you want to um, kind of learn the elements of a sewing machine, she, she actually tells you, you know, about your different feet that you're going to use and how you would use it and all the language that goes around with that because there is a sort of a language really um, that sometimes can be a bit confusing. And then she actually then goes on to um, working out little shapes, uh, patterns, and what she actually introduces you to, I'm just going to show here. Um, so little elements. So if you want to um, learn how to do very basic sewing projects to get you used to your sewing machine and how to use interfacing, fusible for interfacing, um, she introduces all kinds of different techniques. But then as you go further in the book, um, we've got here, we've got um, applique. Oh, that's, that's very handy that you to learn. Um, can yeah. introduce. And then I was trying to find you the one that's actually on the front, which is the free motion embroidery. Now, this is a bit, we've got some patchwork as well in here, but I just, if I refer to it on the front, that's probably the easiest yeah. way <laughs> um, for now. Um, she introduces you on how to do free motion embroidery. So that may be something that you might want to experiment once you've got past the basics. So I think it's a really, really good book in terms of um, it's not just a complete beginner's. You can take it to different levels. I think that's what I really enjoy. And it's uh, one of those books that you will refer time and time again. Yes, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a really good reference. Um, now, I mean, oh, I'm going to show you the, the pack. Uh, you are also getting the Four for Fun uh, book, uh, of course, uh, included in this one for just £12.99, and pounds, nine nine seven three two two. But the one that we have all waiting for, of course, is Tilly Rose. Oh, Book. Now, take it away, Tilly. I mean, it is phenomenal book. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Well, I've had... So my book is Stitched Memories. Um, as a textile artist, I, um, I'm i a creative mixed-media textile artist, so I work with um, pre-loved cloth. I worked with old antique textiles. I work with paper. Um, I work with uh, stamped cloth, so I work with Indian block prints and all kinds of treasures, and I put them into projects. What I've put in here is how I um, create projects. So I tell a story through cloth. And um, I've got some examples at the side that I'll just very, very quickly uh, show in a second. But what I've done is try to explain, if I run through um, just at the front here, um, I've tried to explain all the extra little things, what kind of threads I use, um, what kind of embellishments and uh, found objects. I use found objects in my travels all the time. Um, so I have a mixture of hand sewing, um, slow stitching. Now slow stitching I really cover in here that doesn't necessarily mean uh, hand sewing, it can mean machine sewing and it's more about being in the moment and taking time um, to just really focus in on what you're doing. And then I show elements on how you can create your own cloth journals, um, hand stamping onto cloth, and mixed uh, mixing crafts really. Because I, I'm not a paper crafter, um, I'm not completely patchwork quilting. You know, I tend to mix and match. Um, and then. I'm just going to show here, <laughs> you can see there's just a little element here, just very quickly because I know time's of an essence, but um, how I put them into projects and how I sew you know, into various different projects. But um, yes, it was a bestseller in 2018. Oh, it sold wow. out in two weeks. Wow. I know, it was amazing. So they it's... reprinted um, and yeah. 
It's yes. a beautiful, beautiful book. I mean, I, one of the things I love about it is that with that photography we were talking yes. about and yes. the step by step and so many different techniques that you have incorporated, including English paper piecing as well and embroidery. And it's just so much, so much inspiration. And also, this style is like kind of, I'm sure that people can then reuse things that they have at home and yeah, you teach they them can. how to and, use it. And really that's, um, that was the sort of basic element of it, is um, capturing little moments in time that is personal to you um, and capturing memories because once we, if we don't record those memories, we, we lose them, you know, yeah, from generation absolutely. to generation, really. So yeah, Absolutely. Now, if, if you want to go with Stitch Memories by Tilly Rose, of course, uh, you can have it and you will get the fun for a uh, book as well here. £12.99 for uh, the book. Remember, you're not paying for four pounds for a zero five six and nine nine one uh, is your item number. We have got another selection with another uh, free book. Now, this one, it will be the One Patch Quilts by Caroline Forster, and you can see this gorgeous and beautiful quilts in here. An easy, beautiful uh, book. But remember, you are not paying for this one. You are going to get it for free with the different ones that we are going to see now. And the first one is Debbie Shores. Uh, I think many of you will know her. Uh, sewing rooms, secret quiltings. Now, this is a bit different, Tilly. Uh, yes, yeah, so I know Debbie. Again, she uh, she's a friend. We meet at the events, and um, uh, she's again uh, another ambassador for Search Press. Um, Debbie's like me. She's got a real passion for sewing. She's got a real passion for sharing those traditional skills with um, you know uh, sewers of different levels, really, and introducing them with different tips and techniques. So this one introduces her passion for quilting. Um, and she um, runs through sort of how she started in sewing um, and how she got quilting really um, and I think really um, I'm just what I'm going to do is just run through because there's quite a few little things that you might want to just if I sort of just do this again she runs through how to use your sewing machine what sort of equipment um, and then she goes on to terminology and fabric terminology again we talked about having that language and that's and very useful isn't it it is because not everybody goes to a workshop not everybody goes to an event and you you know even I'm guilty I come on here or, or on my little go live on my Facebook or whatever and I'll say something and then you know you assume people know what that terminology means um, and I'm a big one for trying to explain uh, really breaking it down um, Debbie goes through the quilting know-how and sort of runs through the real basics. So if you just want an introduction to quilting, it's a you know it's a lovely starting point. Again, applique. She applies um, techniques there. Reverse applique, um, back stitch, quilting stitch. So if you don't want to do it on your machine, she shows how you can do it by hand, um, and how you build build up your quilts. Um, she explains you know by the different techniques. Yeah, cool. Just now, if you finish. If you want to go for Debbie Shore Sewing Room Secrets Quilting Book, and remember that you are getting the one patch quilts a books worth, uh, you know, four ninety nine, I believe, uh, included in here. Nine ninety nine is all you are paying for this two books. Six four eight one three one is your item number. We have got another book that comes in as well with a beautiful one patch quilt uh, book. And remember, you are not paying for this one, which is worth four ninety nine. You are just paying for the miniature quilts, which is twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. And this one is the item number is 221960. And Tilly, this is, you were saying that this one is incredibly beautiful, but also for more advanced? Yes, um, it's, it's beautifully visual. I mean, I just, even the cover, just, you know, the colour itself. Um, this is um, obviously an introduction to quilts if you've never made a quilt. But this is a quilt in um, a very sort of a textile art way. Um, so let me just run through, um, here we go. So if I go from the back rather than the front, this yeah. introduces you to a little bit more expertise. So you, if you've gone past the basics of quilting, you want to sort of create your own designs. Um, it goes through a little, we've got on here some ribbon embroidery and reverse applique. Uh, we've got, um, look at this. The Mariner's Compass, wow, bouquets with Tudor Rose. So if you're thinking, this is a sort of um, introduction, if you're thinking of exhibiting or quilting, you know, at events, or maybe your local group, um, and you want a starting point and a reference, there's some really, really gorgeous, gorgeous details in here. 
um, and again it runs through um, so it's all machine sewing um, but you can obviously use some of the techniques in she shows you the equivalent in hand sewing if you do want to break it right down this but it's lots beautiful. and lots of expertise in there incredible book if you want the miniature quilts by Kumiko uh, Friddle uh, your the, the item number is 221 and 960 and remember you are going to get the one patch quilts books worth 499 you're just paying 1299 then we are going to a beautiful so beautiful quilted bags in here again with the free book the one patch quilts in here 14 pounds and 99 pence now Tilly it is beautiful to have bags quilted yeah so again this one now I've got to be honest um, I'm very very conscious that we've only got an hour oh, yeah. um, for all of these books and um, you just possibly can't show all the detail in what goes into these books um, and why is every book different from the rest you know uh, what I love about this particular book is there's a lot of hand sewing in here so if you don't actually you, obviously you, you can make your bag on your machine and then you add your detail um, and you've got your embroidery at the back you've got um, the detail of how you add that into small projects you can see little bits of applique yes. um, but then also I'll just show you here um, how you build up this is the design with the little houses um, and how she adds that into the bag here we've got the quilt shop and the bakery and the flower and you can take little elements so you don't need to make your pouch you could take that little element here make a pocket and that could then go onto a, a shop bought of bag course. as well and um, so that's why I really like this one because it showcases quilting it showcases hand sewing uh, loads and loads of slow stitching techniques in there um, but also it incorporates your machine sewing so um, quilting and techniques of you know your patchwork and quilting in, in there. 14 pounds and 99 pence is for that book and of course it comes with the one patch uh, quilts a book worth 499 767 592 is the item number and then the final one with uh, the one stitch uh, quilts that comes with is the so cute cu so cute quilts gifts and gifts just words. <laughs> this is very, very pretty. Tilly, uh, can you show us a little bit? Yeah, so uh, again, her inspiration. So this is by um, Atsuko. Is that how we say her name? Atsuko? Mm -hmm. um, and she has taken elements from sort of vintage um, images and vintage projects. I'm just going to go through just to a couple, really, um, and given it a modern twist. So again, using those fat quarter ideas where you can patchwork and quilt. Um, but you can see she's put them into, um, this is almost going back to the 1970s design, isn't it? You know, the, um, yes, the Holly Hobby design. Um, and it's very playful. It's very colourful and it's very playful. So you can see like this quilt here, it's very, very different to what we've just been showing. Um, so maybe for uh, younger sort of um, designs, you might want to sort of put some in your children's uh, nursery maybe or at schools. But look at, we've got the little wreath here. So it's not just big um, projects. You've got fabric wreaths here. We were talking about Beautiful. the wreaths. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price for this amazing book. Uh, remember, it comes with a one-patch quilt award book uh, worth four ninety-nine. You are just paying ten at fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five zero three four eight zero is your item number. Now we run out of time. We have got a lot more on the website. So let's see exactly what we have got on the website for you. We have got the acrylic. Oh, apparently we cannot show it just yet. But oh yeah, acrylic paint pouring. Uh, beautiful books. Uh, that, this one comes with a drawing a landscape book uh, worth $4.99 you're just paying £12.99 and, and of course that really beautiful pouring in there then um, oh well we have got a book uh, that you may uh, know the artist we had a, mass, a massive show here with the addictive uh, sketcher by Adivan J. Alade uh, and of course this one comes with a free book as well that landscape books are $4.99 worth $4.99 you're just paying £14.99 and, and then if you like a little bit of a hand lettering well you can have that one for 9.99 included with that free drawing landscape book 726590 is the item number and if you like a little bit of paper cutting well there is a book for that for search press celebrating 50 years of course means that you have got a tax and toppers booklet with them it's not a booklet it's a book 
12 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Now, Tilly, uh, you know, it's been an amazing hour. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming. It's been a fast hour. It, it I feel like I've been hit by a train of so <laughs> many books. But well, yes, hopefully we've offered um, viewers a huge selection of what, thank you. just a tiny thank selection you. of such. Beautiful inspiration, as is at the next hour. Fabric Freedom, wonderful white with Fabric One Day Special. Then craft yourself silly, and then crafting with Clarity Weekend. Wow. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda.
Well, good morning. Of course, we are here and having a look at the one that is special from Fabric Fabric Freedom. What's with the efforts today? Anyway, we have got. <laughs> we have I know my, my I, I don't seem to be able to pronounce no, them. Oh, okay. You know your issue with the apps, well, not there's I'm, too many. Yeah, no, 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 okay. absolutely. No, uh, now of course we have got Haley in the studio. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. Now, uh, the one day special I'm already in love with because there is different options as well. So they are beautiful fabrics. Yes. Yes, so you've got five different options. They are extra wide width, so you've got um, 160 centimetres width on all of these. So you're kind of thinking, well, well, why do I want extra wide fabric? It's basically less joining. Absolutely. So backing for projects would be perfect. Yes, so these are um, a kind of selection of each of the fabrics. So these are half a metre of, of each, but then you're thinking, well, if it's extra wide, but I've only got half a metre, what are we going to do? Well, this is exactly what we're showing you. And um, they're brilliant for things like log cabins because obviously you're getting a ah, huge wow. long strip. And um, we've got a piece that we sewed together last night, which uh, kind of illustrate bindings, edgings, uh, sashing, borders, those kind of things. Brilliant for that because again, a lot less joining. Indeed. And when we've created a piece, what well, I've created a piece last night, which was 10 centimeters wide, which is four inches. So if you're going to make that into a, say, a strap for a bag or something, perfect for that because that'll give you a roughly a one inch strap for a bag um, and you can get 160 centimeters in one hit Absolutely. which means that you, it's, you know nice long kind of bag straps you can do in one hit so kind of cross body size in now, shall we go through the options? Uh, so, with the first option you, you have is the green, which I would say is more of an aqua tone, isn't it? It's just a beautiful yes, it's, bluish green. It's not like a grass green. No, it is more um, of a, I would say, definitely It's got an aqua. kind of more aquas, teals, uh, nice kind of soft yeah. greens. So, Blue that would greens. be the first option, the greens. Then we have got the pinks. Now, also what I'm noticing is the nice and the ditzy prints as yes. well. So and perfect again, blender. that's what is going to benefit you when you come to things like your borders, your edges, your bindings, because you want enough of a, a print to make it interesting. So, you don't want a print that's so big that you're going to lose a lot of it when you actually apply your border. Um, but you also want something that's not maybe going to detract from your whole design. Absolutely. So it's just going to enhance it and, and, and then, not overtake it. And then we have got the uh, monochrome uh, geometric. Yeah, this is my favourite, actually. was the actually. most popular oh. last night. Is it what? Well, actually, it was. Uh, and I'm not surprised because as soon as I saw them, it's like, it's a striking, it's bold. It's also Japanese. And also is, I need to mention that it's half the stock of God. Then we have got the um, geometric. And um, this one that we have got is this one has got the beautiful mustard got, yes, yellow. You've got two different colors in this one. So you've got three in the mustard yellow. And then you've got three in that kind of turquoise teal color. I love them as well. Beautiful I like combination. I like the little cubes on. Yeah, I think, I mean, I definitely think, the, and also coordinate very well with the black one as well. So yeah. there could be that beautiful coordination in there. Uh, now one, of course, is the geometric brights. And then finally, we have got the yellow, uh, which is, is again, is that beautiful mustard the yeah. yellow that yeah. is such and a refreshing color. there's lots of different color. colors within here as well. So, you know, it will go with a lot of different things, this one. I mean, I have to say that I'm very tempted to go for three of them because I think the Grindy. geometric monochrome Chrome, the uh, ge geometric brides <laughs> and the yellow coordinates beautifully. Yeah, yeah, you could you could easily work all of those together. I mean, the black and the yellow, you, 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 especially with those kind of uh, hexagonal honeycomb type shapes, it will obviously lend itself to something bee themed. Yeah, and I was just thinking that if you go for three of them, so twenty-nine pounds and ninety-seven pence is the price for one and day special. If you go for all three, then you can flexi buy it, and then of course you have got individual savings of fifteen pounds, so you would have actually uh, a forty-five pound saving if you go for three of, of those one day specials, and you would get actually eighteen meters of um, fabric. Yeah, if you go for three that are the same color, it will be cut as a continuous piece for you. So um, rather than getting three half meters of each color you will get one and a half yeah. meters of each color. I, I said something, I said 18 meters, not you wouldn't get 18, you would get a nine, uh, so you would get nine and a half, I think. Uh, but it's just gonna, yeah, so, because, uh, so you, no, nine sorry, nine, nine meters you yes. would get. Uh, so uh, zero, six, nine, three, one, one, because you are getting six half meter bundles in each of those one day specials. So that one I want to make to double clear for that. Right, if you want to go for the one day special, all you need to do is t choose 
choose whichever color option you want to go and your item number is 0690311. We have got, of course, more beautiful fabrics from Fabric Freedom with the English floral garden in here. Gorgeous. And you have got four options and you are going to get one meter, not half meter, but one meter. And the width of it is 149 centimeters of 58 and a half inches, which is also a good, nice width. Yeah. It's a really good width. Um, all of these, your standard quilting cotton is 45 inches, which is about 110, 112 centimetres. So all of these, the minimum size you'll get is 149 or 150 centimetres, which is the set that you're looking at now. So those ones, the sheep and the, oh no, I think the sheep are wider. Oh. What is it? Hang well, on. we will have it. I did measure all these last night and then have promptly forgotten. Um, <laughs> this so the same. those ones are all 150 wide. So if you think about your normal quilting cotton, that is 45 inches wide. Um, now when you're kind of putting that in real terms, that's kind of half a metre will give you two cushion fronts. Okay, assuming you're working about 50 centimetres square. So you'll have two cushion fronts and a little bit left over. All of the ones that we're going to show you today, will it do at least three cushion fronts? So you're getting kind of three fat quarters off of each piece. Normally, with a, a normal width fabric, you'll get two fat quarters. These are going to give you three. So you're getting kind of that almost 40% extra on all of these fabrics. Uh, amazing. Uh, Ten pounds, ninety-nine pence is the price, and then you choose whichever option. You have got four options in here in the beautiful floral garden, and remember, it's a hundred percent cotton. Uh, so you have got the white uh, lilac, which I believe is that one. Then you have got the pink and lilac, which has got that one. Then you have got the sky uh, pink, and then finally the brick teal. So that's your choices. Your item number four four zero one three six is your item number for those ones, and. Uh, beautiful but also then we are going to oh i love the sheep it's just so this, cute this was a bit of a, a favorite last night um, yeah. and the, the debate was really which color you'd have pajamas in. absolutely well uh, it's why so sheepish again 100 percent cotton fabric is this poplin yes that's a poplin so we were you, i know we're getting very and it's good like, yeah. <laughs> So last night we kind of went through with Janice what the difference was because I think she was under the impression that when it was cotton poplin that it wasn't actually 100% cotton. But it absolutely is. Poplin just refers to the weave of the fabric rather than um, the content of the fabric. So if it hasn't got cotton in or if it's a mixture, it'll say uh, a poly cotton generally. Mm -hmm. But cotton poplin just means it's a cotton fabric, 100% cotton, with a poplin weight weave. To me, that case, so basically cotton talks about the type of the fibers. Yes, that's And the, yeah. poplin is a type or a quilting it's, cotton. That would be the type of weave. Yes, that, and it's, So exactly. you can have it. So it's a, yeah. yeah it's a mix. So it's, it's like the white. If you compare it to paper, yeah. then your poplin is more like a, a 120 GSM yes. card. And your quilting cotton is more like a 160, 180 GSM card. That's a perfect that's way to put it for paper crafters. Uh, 433784 is the item number. You have got the options of the pink, the blue, uh, uh, the green, and the lilac. So, uh, of course, you have got here the blue, the green, the lilac, and the pink. Uh, right, uh, 999 is the price for one meter of, uh, of fabric with a four pound saving. Now, we are going to the woodlands because they yep. are so, this is the design, I love I it. <laughs> well, it's initially, so cute. I think you only see the badges. Oh, yes. And then when you start looking further, you realize that there are, there are foxes in there, there are rabbits in there, there's a mouse, there's mice in there, there's all sorts there are of woodland creatures hiding in the, because I think the badge is sticking out more and obviously the striking color is the black and the white. Absolutely. You see yeah. them first. And then when you start looking further, there's there's all sorts of creatures hiding in there. Again, you have got different options. You have got the cream, which is that one. Then you have got the gorgeous. Uh, you have got the, the sky, so that have beautiful sky blue. Then we have got the grey. I, I don't know which one is my. F I think the grey is probably my favourite because think? I do think it's very. It's, the, it's subtle, it's just that. And then finally, we have got the chambray as well. Uh, 10 pounds, 99 pence for beautiful fabric, 261, 2682. And remember, you are getting a meter of that with a saving of four pounds. So all of those, as you can, as you said, they can come by the meter, but every single one of them is cut from the roll. So if you order multiples, like two, threes, fours, so if you are gonna make a, a dressmaking project with them, so maybe you're gonna do uh, pajamas or something like that, and you need two meters rather than one, if you put two in your basket, it will come as a continuous piece for you. 
Fabulous. Uh, now, and that is very important, of course, because if you want to do bigger projects, uh, if you yeah, want to do... Yeah, I was just doing the housekeeping. Yeah, 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 no, no, it's a very good point because it, 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 I remember one of the times I did buy something and it came in separate pieces and it was kind of a little bit All of a disappointment. Together. Yeah, or, yeah, vice versa. <laughs> and now, if you want to go to Honeycomb B, 100% cotton poplin, this one is 56 uh, inches wide. You are getting a meter length and you have got two options in here. So, oh, three options, but yeah, we only, only have two got... out on the counter. This um, fabric's been on before, brilliant for fussy cutting, and we had a picture sent in last night of um, a bag that someone had made. I've unfortunately forgotten the name, but um, it was absolutely beautiful. And what they'd done is used the whole fabric for the lining and then fussy cut out a couple of the bees and a couple of patches of flowers um, to add applique onto the front of the bag. Used a black background which then just made all of the colours kind of pop. So really, really kind of nice. Karen, Karen. Karen. There you go. Uh, ten pounds, ninety-nine pence is the price. And of course you have got these two options. Uh, you're saving four pounds in either option. Nine four nine one five two is your item number. But well, let's have a show let's show the third option and you can see the image here. So the colour wise it's a little bit more, you know, it's blue sandstone. You can see there uh, perfectly those beautiful colours. Uh, and of course uh, the other options are denim pink and pitch purple. And then we have got a limited edition fabric. Yes, these are a couple of limited edition ones, and I really like these. Um, the first one's got almost like that kind of dandelion clock feel to it. Yeah, it definitely. With those little ones on. And um, we were discussing last night, was it the weave of the fabric that was um, kind of featuring in the background? Yes, it, it is. I had to kind of look. We had a lovely Jimmy who did us an ex excellent close-up so I could see what he was talking about, because obviously I can't, I'm not allowed to go over and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yes, it's the weave of the fabric that's putting those almost kind of little uh, darker flecks in the grey. Oh, I see, yes, yes. Yeah. So do. It's, it's the weave that's doing that and it's not printed on. And it's so basically, and, and this one is 100% cotton, but that kind of weave gives it more of a kind of almost linen yes, appearance. Yes, yeah, it gives it more of a linen look. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, you have got two options, but also I wanted to mention that this one is the 63 inches wide. Yes, so this is 160 centimetres. All the one day specials are 160 centimetres, and these um, limited edition ones are 160 yeah, centimeters. Than us. So, I mean, when you get your um, patterns, what you'll find is uh, if it's a dressmaking pattern, so it'll it'll put on the back um, the various amounts that you need for each width of fabric. So, if you've got 150 um, centimeters, which is 60 inches, it'll say, oh, you need a, a meter and a half. But having that extra 10 centimeters, I I have found out when I made pajama bottoms for somebody, and um, it's such a lifesaver. Because it, especially if you're trying to pattern match, you've just got that extra little bit Indeed. of wiggle room. Yeah, and this is just twelve pounds and ninety nine pence with a saving of two pounds. You are getting two and a half meters, and you have got two choices: that beautiful grey and yellow, and then you have got the grey and brick, which is absolutely phenomenal with the red. It's just so elegant. I think grey with yeah, they're colors, really really nice ones, also. and I think they're a good stash builder as well because they would go with a lot of things. You could just add a you know plain red into there. Yeah. And you'd be away. Really oh, beautiful. Or you could put white or black with it because they're, they're kind of quite neutral bits. And it is a limited edition of Galaxy of Stars. I like that as well. 965142 is your item number. Now, another limited edition that we have got for you is the go is this candy fabrics. Now, they are beautiful. Uh, they are, again, 63 inches wide, 160 centimeters, and you are getting two and a half meters, so you have got two choices. Uh, you have got the gorgeous, beautiful red tones in here with a beautiful pattern. I love that. And then you have got a more neat navy sort of uh, two colors, navy and sulfur. Um, sulfur kind of, it has got the, I like that name it's actually. Like a gr it's like a greeny yellow, yeah, it's isn't that it? Mustardy olive and you know grey green in there. Very scanty. Twelve ninety nine is the price. You're saving two pounds nine nine eight three one seven is your item number. Now we have got more limited edition. We have got the Paisley Garden. For you, we have got different options as well for that. Remember that you have got uh, the 160 centimeters wide or 63 inches. Now this one is the paisley pink, the pink option, and then we have got, of course, the uh, 
mint gray and mint gray and then we have got uh, the charcoal as well so oh look at that insignia i like that one as well uh 12.99 is the price 8937390 is your item number and then we have got more limited edition from fabric freedom it's nice to have limited editions look at the two cans and the tropical leaves now this one is called Duala printed cotton and the options that you have got you can see them there you're getting a meter of uh, this fabric so you are getting um, so you can choose the green and yellow the, the blue or uh, the apricot gray 11 pounds and 99 pence is the price you are saving three pounds and then we have got one more to go which is another limited editions I like limited editions and this is the Bangalore uh, printed cotton so you are getting a meter uh, for 11.99 so your options are the blue or oh, gorgeous blue and red there the green and gold and then the first one is the red and gold so all of them is all those options whichever option you go for you have got a three pound saving 11.99 is the price and your item number is 492740 but that's not all limited editions one day specials and now happy hours now with the happy hours means that the price will come down during the hour and then it will go back uh, up again at the end of the hour 9.99 is the price you're having a five pound saving and you are getting two half meters of these beautiful uh, floral and spot blenders now it, they are 44 inches in width but you are getting the perfect blenders for your patchwork now the options that we have got for you is uh, do you have got the green uh, so then we have got blues you have got lilac you have got I believe pink you have got is it mint the names on these because um, yeah okay uh, they are all called kind of various different things <laughs> and they're not quite in the right order that they should be <laughs> right well so we, we let's kind of rainbowed them rather than did them in the proper order because it looks nicer in the rainbow okay so but let's he let's you. head back to the web well in the website you will see all the different options so that will be the best way to refer to them uh, now if we see the website you can see they here so you can see for instance olive green which has got that more dark tones in there is a proper gray. then you have got the gray which is a beautiful gray um, with a, I think it's a little bit uh, kind of a bit uh, more of a bluish tone uh, than a, a, a cool gray then there is the dark purple so then we have got a beautiful true purple then we have got the sky blue which is a vibrant blue then we have go to uh, light green more of a mint green I would say it's a cooler green beautiful then we can go to the light blue which is more of a great light blue blue then the beige is of course a beige it's a brown It's perfect blending for those kind of more neutral colors quilts light purple it's more of a pink purple beautiful pink with pinks and lilacs as well and lilac has got a more of a cool tone more of a wisteria sort of color and then finally we have got the pink which is a perfect pink in there so 9.99 is the price uh you remember you have got that saving and the item number is 655965. Of course, that is a happy hour deals, which means that the price will go back to 14 pounds and 99 pence at the end of the hour. So check out your baskets. But that's not all. We have got another happy hour for you. And again, you can see it here, which is a dream, a little dream, a 42 piece charm pack. So it says five by five inches uh, in sizes. You are getting those beautiful 100% cotton. And of course, the price is 9.99, but remember, Remember that price of 9.99 with that five pound saving it's only until the end of the hour so check out your baskets now to make sure that you do not pay extra eight zero six nine seven zero now you might want some add some calico we have got that it's a massive piece of calico and it's perfect for backing of quilts It's perfect for different sorts of projects you are getting them a 10 meter bold and you are getting the extra width of 160 centimeters perfect for backing quilts 29 pounds and 99 pence is the price you have got that massive saving of 14 pounds and 96 pence now if you're doing quilting you will want some wadding so we have got that one as well and this is a mega roll a mega mega roll now this one it's a hundred percent polyester so if you are the sort of person that you like you have got allergies this is perfect for that now 150 centimeters in with 49 pounds and 99 pence is a price and you have got the saving of 10 pounds you have got a option of white or cream 
and of course remember you are getting all 10 meters and you have got that flexi buy option to payments of 25 pounds now oh, Egyptian muslin now this I'm really need to get a couple of those ones because you are getting two meters and they are perfect for uh, so many different things including to creating a uh, face uh, you know instead of uh, disposable face wipes using re reusable face wipes with this is fabulous 9.99 is the price for two meters of them you have got the choice Choice of white or a new uh, white or natural. I was going to go neutral, <laughs> but well, natural neutral. Uh, two six two three one nine is your item number. Now there is a lot of different options, but what it is is that all options are fabulous prices and beautiful patterns. Now Haley, what are you going to show us next? Okay, so we've done a couple of things with this already, and we're kind of uh, having a look at that extra. Why the benefit? What, what the benefit is in that extra wide width? So you have the other end of this yes um, I should have warned Chris about this this is a piece that we've put together it's a four inches wide and um, <laughs> you're right there yeah I'm all right just <laughs> fancy <Yes. dress. laughs> um, I've cut five strips out of the half meter that I had so that means we have seven and a half meters of binding I mean there is social distancing and yeah, then there is seven and a half meters this, haven't we we've got it this is this is one piece that you will get if you, you know, obviously if you join it together and we'll show you again in another hour how you can put this together so that you don't get any um, joins in your pattern because you can see this one here you know it's 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 we've put it together a certain way so that we we don't have the joins you might lose five ten centimeters by doing that but you've got hundred and sixty centimeters there so what we've put together in that big strip there's probably more than seven and a half meters but you've got, I've got five strips uh, 10 centimeters each and there's a couple of different techniques that we use for that but we'll do that again at 12 o'clock one of the other things that we've been doing again I've gone for just I was happy accident it's about the same size but it's about a four inch width strip this one and we've been doing a, a log cabin design now this is such an easy way to work and such an easy way to build up a quilt so um, starting off we've gone with the two squares in the center and then i've gone uh, with two bits that are two by two so one is coming across here and then the next one comes up the side so you're always kind of coming back to your square shape so then we've got a three by three so then you can see that brings me back to my square there and then we put one down the side which is our next row that's coming around here and then we've got our last one to add on the top which i mean that it was almost cushion size already I would say yeah that's almost cushion size I would probably say that is cushion size already and I've still got um, a huge strip of this one this one's from the paisley option now I know these were really popular last night and um, so in this project we've got two of the paisleys so that's the uh, pink and burgundy from the paisleys and then this one here is from the one day special it's one of the geometrics right, and the yeah. pink one day special that we've kind of combined to make this. But this is absolutely nothing off of the whole project. I've got one 10 centimeter strip off of each of my half meters of the paisley. Um, and I'm still going to have some left over. And I've got one strip off one of the uh, one day special fabrics. And again, I'm still going to have a load left over because all we need to do to finish this is pop one along the top there and then that will square that back off and that's your cushion complete and I'm still going to have all of this one and I'm still going to have a bit of this one left over as well so you can see working in these kind of strip anything that uses um, a good idea for projects for these anything that uses jelly rolls because you can obviously cut this down into your jelly roll strips but when you do your jelly roll strips usually you're getting it off a 45 inch width fabric so you're getting 112, 110, 112 centimeter strips this is going to give you almost 40-50% extra so it's just fewer joins and with obviously the extra width in the first place you can choose to make them wider or narrower rather yeah. than having them pre-cut into strips so we're going to add this last one on so that I'm going to flip forward and then I'm going to pin it in place so with uh, log cabins the kind of big advantage is you're always going to have one nice flat piece so that we're going to put to the bottom and that means that when I'm sewing along I only have to concentrate on the joins that I've got on the top here 
and I don't have to worry about what's on the bottom. So let me just pop a couple of extra pins in here. One more. And I've left the extra on the end here for the minute because what I'm going to do is sew it first and then trim that excess off so I've got no wastage because if I cut it and then I accidentally move it like I have done there actually I've accident when I flipped it over I've accidentally moved that and can you see I've got an extra little bit sticking yep. over the edge here and um, by cutting it after it means you're going to get minimum wastage and you can make this fabric go further and further and further I mean if that's one strip off each of these I've got because they're uh, four inches I can take another four off each of these so you're getting a huge amount there it is a huge amount and they are such a beautiful like what I love about them is that automatically all of them I see them as sash builders but incredible versatile because of that extra width yes yeah because of that extra width and you're really going to want to work these in in strips so you're going to want to use them for your uh, bindings your borders your sashing all of those kind of projects is exactly what these extra wide widths really lend themselves to because it's it's joining it is. I turned my I turned my machine down because I was trying not to be too noisy in Tilly's show so I turned it down so I was quiet and I could sneakily still sew yeah. <laughs> now normally I wouldn't do this with black thread I would pick something that coordinates a little bit more um, but obviously it, we're doing it so you can see where I've been it's like maths showing your workings. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, just random question, uh, but talking about thread, would you use 100% cotton for this project? Um, right, if you're working with cotton, yeah. then yes, 100% cotton is recommended because it will wash and move and shrink and age at the same rate as the rest of the cotton that's in the fabric itself. However, I mean, there are some really good polyesters out there. I mean, this is, oh. I'm using a rayon just because in a minute, when I've got the other show, I've got to do some machine embroidery, so it was oh. already set up with that one. But normally, I would, I would use a polyester. I mean, you've got to have that quilt for years and years and years and wash it all the time for it to yeah. be significant, the amount that the um, cotton would age over the polyester. So, yes, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay. So, let's come to the end here. We'll snip off that excess. And then, that is the front of our cushion done. So, it just needs a little press front and back to just press out those seams. And I, when I'm working log cabin, I do tend to press them open. I just prefer to press them open. I think you get kind of less bulky lumps because especially when you've got something like this where yeah. you've got dark and light and dark and light it's it's so difficult to decide which side to press so to. I, I heard I'm correct with me I, I don't know if it, I, I heard it correctly the only reason we you wouldn't do that open it is if you were doing a stitching in the ditch a quilting uh, yes because it's a little bit easier yeah. and and also if you're stitching in the ditch and you've got them pressed open sometimes you can see you can see all the way yeah. through um, but I, I think you do whatever makes you happy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> whatever oh, well, makes you happy. If you're getting the results out of it, you yeah. know, d d go for exactly. it, go for it. I should have put a proper ironing board down on here, shouldn't yes, I? Yes, I was like, yeah, I was planning. Yeah. I was, I was just like panicking here. In, you know, in we're all right. We're fine. We're fine. So that's the front done. And we can go ahead and use, uh, go make a back for it now. Now, all of these extra wide width ones. Now, I've had a little sneaky lump off these. Yeah, see, it's not quite wide enough now. <laughs> but that's fine. We can use one of the other pink ones from one of the other pink sets. Okay, yeah. I've yep. got extras over here, so we can use one of those. Now, one of the other things we did talk about last night was, um, obviously, I tend to rip my fabrics rather than cut them just to get um, a perfectly nice kind of straight line with the warp and the weft of the fabric. However, with some of these, you can't do that because... I think Paula's hungry. <laughs> no, that's just, Sorry, I'm am hungry. I interrupting your breakfast? <laughs> it's the problem is I cannot eat at 5 a.m. Uh, yeah, I'll eat after the okay. shower. Do you want to go and get a snack? Yeah, I should. Do I should do it, yeah. <laughs> I've got some popcorn if you want some. <laughs> I eat a, I eat a 
eat uh, the brunoa, <laughs> but it's not enough. I need to eat more. I need to have a proper <laughs> English breakfast, the, the vegan one. Okay, let me see if I've got it. Ah, this bit's big enough. Okay, so this, this whole piece here is about half uh, of the length, because this has had some of the other samples that are behind Paula. Some of the other samples have been made with this one, but I can use this one as the backing for here. So if I'm going to put a zip in, um, then I can add the zip first while the two panels are separate and then sew it together. Um, because I do not have a zip with me, we are going to have to envelope back this. Now, um, because we're going to envelope back this, that's going to be a little bit of a stingy overlap because obviously I'm going to have to have a double rolled edge on each side. And then that's a little bit of a stingy overlap because if you leave it that stingy an overlap, what you'll get is you'll get gaping on the back of the cushion and you'll see it opening up. Now, yes, you can add a couple of buttons, but um, you're far better off just adding a bit of extra fabric in, in the first place. So uh, what we may do then is use this smaller bit. Is that going to be enough of an overlap? Let's have a little look. I don't think it is, actually. Oh, we'll have to cut two bits off of this one. That's fine. Oh, I don't want the matching one. Oh, no, I quite like the different one on the shall, back. Shall I do the recap and well, then... I have a thing. Yes, you yeah, have a on. thing. <laughs> uh, you have a thing, uh, thinking. <laughs> Right, the one day special. Now, it is a phenomenal one day special. Why? Well, for several reasons. First of all, you have got options to tailor to your taste, whatever colors you like. Second, because, of course, it's beautiful fabric, beautiful prints. Third, because that's the most important thing, that extra width of uh, that is quilting cotton. Now, you, whichever bundle you go for, whichever option color-wise you go for, you're going to get six pieces of a half meter by 63 inches. Now, that is a phenomenal size. Like Haley was explaining, perfect for binding, perfect for sashing, perfect for those longer projects that you need, those stripes. Now, if you wanted to go for two one-day specials, say, for instance, the beautiful geometrics on the brides, you will get continuous pieces. So you will get one meter pieces of each of those ones. So that means that you can multi-buy for those bigger projects. Now, we have got different options. So we go through the options that we have got. Now, we have got the greens. I will say it, it's more of a teal, teal, aqua green rather than, of course, a blue. I would say more blue. Yeah, it's not a green green. It's not a grass olive green at all. I do have got the beautiful Dead Sea prints as well here, the stars. And I love that they are perfect for binding because they have got that a smaller print into them. Then we are going into the pinks in here. Now the pinks again featuring stars, ditzy florals, the tiniest ditzy florals, slightly larger, a little bit of geometric patterns. I absolutely adore this pattern in here because it has got that kind of almost medieval building sort of in, in construction sort of pattern. Then one of my two favorites is the geometric monochrome. I see Japan prints in here. I see uh, home decor pieces. I see something incredibly stylish. I also think that this for a dressmaking would be amazing because you remember you have got that extra width. So I would go multi-order if you're thinking of dressmaking because this fabric with the extra width having a one meter piece, it means that you will be able to make a dress even. Uh, certain patterns allow you to do that, that and then you mix and match those fabrics. And that's the other thing. Whichever option you go, you have got an array of different patterns and color combinations that will work, that offer a little bit of contrast. This is a geometric uh, bride, another of my favorites. Remember that you have got a 15 pound saving in whichever option you go, and if you multi-buy it, you will have them in continuous, cut them in continuous pieces. I mean, look at that. I mean, do, as a cushion cover, a pillow cover, maybe you want to jazz up your bedroom and you just want something like a little bit of pattern and color. This is perfect for a pillow, for a cushion, something that adds color and that subtle print that is extraordinarily elegant. This is the geometric brights. And then we are going into the yellows. 
again, one of my favorites. Those three I absolutely adore because you have got, again, geometric. And in here, you also get in the beautiful uh, ditzy florals as well. So you have got a mix of geometric and florals. Also, this is the perfect blender for brighter yellow kind of projects. The yellow is a more of a mustardy yellow rather than a sunshine yellow, which means that it will work perfectly with grays, it will work perfectly with pinks and oranges as well. So it's that sort of color that you can bring greens and blues as well. It's such an extraordinary color. Now, if you want to go for the one day special, you have got a 15 pound saving. If you multiply from the same one, one continuous piece. And remember that they are 63 inches in width, which is extraordinary. Six pieces of half meter, so you're getting three meters in total, but in length, but remember they are 63 inches in width. 069311 is your item number. But let's not forget about the happy hour. Now the happy hour, we have got uh, several ones. This is a phenomenal 42 piece charm pack. So it's five inches by five inches, 100% cotton, but you are getting them for 9.99 is the price, F saving five pounds. And that price will go up at the end of the hour. So do check out your baskets now. Do not forget uh, that beautiful uh, saving in there. Now we have got another happy hour. That is of course the Paisley and the dots in here. So in this one, the floral and dots. Um, now they are blenders, but you could use them even a feature one you're getting uh, half meters two half meters by 44 inches 100 cotton and you have got all sorts of options including the beige the gray the lilac the, the olive green you have got the pinks you have got the light blue that's the oh sorry that one is the green the light green then we have got the light blue then we have got the sky blue then the dark blue the purple light purple and then the lilac and finally the pink i just go for pink uh 9.99 is the price and you are saving five pounds in there and it's a happy hour so the price will go up at the end of the hour let's head back to Haley. uh she's ready i think she has made yes, her mind I had up a little think and i made my mind up so we're all good uh what i actually thought was we always Ooh. when we make envelope backs we always make them straight so we are going to make them um in a in a diagonal just to kind of show you know a different way that you can put them together so i've got one piece on the the back here now when you come to sew this obviously you're going to need quite a lot of space to get that cushion pad in so um yes come in a little bit either side but don't be kind of too overly keen to come too far in because you remember you've got to leave yourself enough space to get that cushion pad in so i would probably and um, once i've sewn this up so probably uh, about an, maybe an inch, two inches along, because obviously there's a little bit of um, option to compress the uh, cushion pad down, but you don't want to leave yourself, you know, too difficult a job to get it in and out. So this is going to be the, the back bit that's going to be covered. So I need that to have a, a double rolled hem on. So we need to press that in a minute. Now, this is one of the patterns from the pink one day special. And because it's a nice kind of geometric one, what you will actually be able to do to make sure you get a nice even crease on there is actually follow the pattern across. So if I put my first fold on and then um, you might be able to see a bit more clearly. So I can pick one of them and then make sure each of these circles oh, I see. is always being folded in half. It doesn't help that it's against the other pattern, which yeah. is exactly the same. Um, and also you can pattern match these if you want to as well because they're, um, they're quite a nice small pattern. So let me just get the rest of this folded. Oh, we'll just go for it. Because it's, actually, because it's quite a small pattern, you can see with it being right next to each other, you actually, yeah. it's not as crucial to have a really precise pattern match on this, but we're gonna go for it. So I'm putting quite a chunky double rolled hem on this just for ease. So that's my first one. And then I'm gonna take it over again and then that will be my inner piece. My outer piece, what I've done is I've cut it for that corner, and then you can see I've pressed this line all the way down, and that's where I want my double rolled hem to finish, um, because obviously when it's the right way out and tucked under, that's gonna give me an exact kind of half diagonal on the back of my cushion. So when you, um, I'll sew it together, 
and then when the, I'll show you a trick for when you come to stuff it, because when you come to put the cushion pad in, there's a, an easier way to do it, because obviously you're trying to struggle yeah. a bit more because it's um, triangular, but there is an easier way to do it. Just go and eat some breakfast. What <laughs> Are you sorry? I'm so sorry. I ate exactly the same as yesterday, and it just yesterday was fine, and today I'm just hungry. I didn't eat dinner. That's the problem. I didn't eat dinner, and that's my problem. How can um, you not have dinner? Because um, anyway, yeah, it's just uh, I will fall asleep. I think anyway. Well, that's the point. <laughs> For eat your dinner, fall asleep. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, anyway, I had late, late lunch, so therefore, anyway, let's not talk about my food uh, habits. <laughs> it's not very healthy. Uh, <laughs> I do apologize for my stomach, it's very loud. Uh, right, uh, so, <laughs> so the ones I'm using at the minute, I'm using the One Day Special and I'm using the uh, Paisleys as well. So it's the um, uh, pink and burgundy option from the, the Paisleys and I've got a couple of different fabrics actually from the, the one day special that we're adding into here. I'm just putting a quick double rolled hem on this one. I'll probably finish this. We've got about 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. No problem. No problem. Okay. So all I'm doing is pressing my hems first and then I'm going to take these over to the machine and quickly sew these and then we'll be able to whip all the way around turn it right side out now all these extra bits that I'm going to end up with on the end I'm leaving those until I've got everything sewn and then I'll trim any of that excess away so I'll go ahead and sew this one it's going to be in a black thread but it'll just have to be in a black thread today <laughs> that's what I've got on for later so that's what we're using okay well, with, well, you're so, yeah. if you are going to do that, actually, if you're going to use a contrasting thread, don't follow this line that's down here because you may not have pressed that entirely straight. The best thing to do is actually pop it um, on your machine. Now, you do want to um, have a, a seam that's as close to this edge as you can, but line it up with the seam guide. That's, if I just move that, you'll see the seam guides on the machine. Keep it constant with that seam guide so that when you take it out of the machine, it's completely parallel with this edge rather than this edge because that if especially if you're using a contrasting fabric uh, contrasting thread if it's wonky it's going to look really wonky if it's a contrasting thread perfect uh, now uh, also well, we are celebrating of course the one day special here in this hour but at 8 a.m. every Sunday we launch a seven day savers and we have got them on the website you can find them on hotchanda.com uh, seven day savers now uh, we have got a spellbinders a five day set collections assorted designs 20 dice in total look the mail shop online full works fabric bundle includes 100% cotton and also it includes the denim fabric a uh, one meter by 54 inches in wide I like that white denim I think it's really handy to have uh, just for you know just to mix it up uh, then of course a low-tech purple a uh, purple low-tech purple tape <laughs> low-tech purple low -tech tape purple. Excellent. Words are not my That's friend. A whole new thing. No, uh, every crafts a bargain has got a three uh, paper pads. Uh, believe in magic, and then Cots Moon sewing for a machine polyester thread. That's very very popular this hour. You are getting a thousand meter each, and you are getting. Can we have a look? Because you are getting ten spools. This is a phenomenal deal. This is absolute. It's a ten pound saving, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence for what it is actually ten thousand meters, ten kilometers of beautiful coats moon sewing thread. You want some ribbon? Well, there are ribbons. There is also look at that. Carve yourself silly. Twisted super chunky knitting yarn bundle. Now, we have a weaving show coming up um, next. Not next week. The week after. Yes. Not this Monday, next Monday. That would be very handy Ooh. for that show. And these are super chunky, so um, you can knit things up super quick with this. I know we had some samples that uh, Katie kindly knitted for us, uh, which I shall Our try and find. Yeah. Because um, it is, su I mean, you've got to kind of see it to believe, because you don't see there how chunky it actually is. It's like nearly finger fat. 
It's just really big and oh, chunky. Oh, right, that's lovely. So you have a different color options there for nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence with a ten pound saving. Uh, if you want, oh, the Happy Planner Vintage Botanicals Planner, lovely garden notebook and pencil case. Oh, I love that. Look at this beautiful black and gold uh, there. Twenty nine pounds and ninety seven pence is the price for that. And if you want some made in Spain Pinti Plus Diamond Metallic Spray, well, uh, it is made in Spain. It's Pinti Plus. Yeah, uh, it's actually, it should say, the pronunciation should be Pinti Plus, Pinti Plus. Okay. That's what it is. Like. And then, of course, we have got two tip uh, designs, uh, two die sets, uh, flying a kite and cross stage nursing stars. Right, and Hayley, are you ready to uh, show I'm us I'm not quite next? ready, but uh, we're kind of ready enough. So, if we were going to construct, how long have I got? Ooh, not that long. Ten minutes. Um, so, we would put it, if we were going to construct it, right way up for my outer piece and then can you can you see um, I've sewn that one and it is in the black thread but because I've kept it nice and evenly away from this outer edge yeah. then it looks kind of it looks right do you know what I mean it looks kind of nice and parallel because if I worked it off the inner edge it wasn't as bad as I thought actually but sometimes if you haven't pressed it so it's nice and even you kind of need to move in a little bit from that outer edge to, to get the, the look that you need so that's going to be my piece on the outside so that goes on first and I have cut it so it goes exactly uh, along the width of that diagonal so it's pressed exactly to fit there and then the next one which I haven't sewn my um, bit for yet which I might have to do in a hurry goes along here I've not pressed that very flat have I give me two seconds I'm going to press that flat flatter because it's a bit wonky and then um, that's better Okay. Yeah, okay. That's, I'm going to press that and then uh, I'll stitch that and then we'll go. All I'm going to do is go all the way around the edge to create that kind of finished outside um, cushion. So, can you give me about five minutes? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it. Okay, so of course we have got a gorgeous one die special, but you also have got other freedom, a fabric freedom, uh, and we have got the woodland uh, beautiful fabrics. Now we have had a question, an ask a customer asking if we could show them the different options as well. Remember, this one is a beautiful. You have got four different options. Shall I spread them out a little bit so we can see them all? Because you have got the beautiful kind of beige, uh, kind of cream undertones underneath it. The beautiful. Then we have got the light blue in here which is more of a sky blue sort of tones the pattern itself is the same the colorways in which the animals and the flowers are printed on are slightly different every time and then we have got the gray which is actually my favorite so you can see if I put it I think this one is put the like that if I put them like you can see, uh, you have got the badger, the rabbit, look at the rabbit, the fox, the owl, the mouse there. And I love because you can do a little bit of a kind of a stitching. You could do adding some maybe um, beautiful beads or kind of that sort of elements and uh, fussy cutting even. Uh, obviously very fussy cutting indeed. And then the last option, we have got the beautiful, I think, chambre. Uh, English paper piece with it then it would be perfect for that because then yes you're fussy cutting but you're fussy cutting into a hexagon yeah. so that would work really really well for that absolutely and now uh it 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price uh 261282 uh, is your item number uh now if you're getting a meter of each 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price you are saving four pounds then we are moving on to let me tidy this up because of course i did do a little bit of a mess in here uh so we have got why so sheepish uh the options in here that you have got is the blue the blue green the lilac and then of course the pink in there it's a dusky pink it's a really kind of gorgeous pink sort of and it works really well if you wanted to coordinate with the woodlands uh, that sort of pink will work very well as well 9.99 is the price the width of this is 58 inches by uh, 58 and a half inches uh, 433.784 is your item number 9.99 is the price with a four pound saving then we have got the summer uh, floral garden Ah, oh, somewhere. I, I just missed it already. Uh, now you are getting a meter of uh, one of these ones, so you choose whichever one you want to go for. The width is 58 pounds and five, uh, 58 and a half inches. That's what it is. Ah, oh, so run away. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 
your time, is it? It's not. I'm not an early person. I'm just like, yeah. My, in my family, people wake up around 12 o'clock. Yes. yes. Anyway, uh, 440 uh, 136 is your item number. And then, of course, we have got the one that is special here for you. Remember, it's a six pieces of fabric, half meters, and that extra width, 63 inches in width. You have got different options, so you could start, for instance, the one that we have got here is the geometric brides. Then we have got the geometric monotones. Then we have got the monochrome. And then we have got uh, the beautiful pinks. And then, of course, the greens, which have got that kind of teal aqua sort of tones in here with a beautiful sort of hints of different colors in some of those ditzy prints including a little bit of hint of pink so it's the sort of blenders that will work so fabulously and those prints that will be, be make beautiful binding and sashing as well and back in 29 pounds and 97 pence is the price 50 pounds saving on that one day special the details on the left hand side of the screen right Haley, we have got about five minutes left for the end okay Sure. I'm going as quickly as I can. I'm okay. trying to get all the way around here. So I um, uh, laid it up the same way as you would with your normal kind of square envelope back. But I'm just stitching as quickly as I can to try and get all the way around so we can get this finished in at the end of this hour. Probably a bit quickly, a bit more quickly than I should be sewing because uh, the, the kind of the slower you go, the more accuracy that you'll get. But we're uh, close enough. <laughs> we're close enough. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty close. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we'll trim this off, uh, cut the corners, and then we'll turn it right side out. Okay. So we're going to just double trim those corners so we reduce the bulk in there. I see. Okay. And then, obviously, because we've got a diagonal on there, some of the corners will have more bulk than others. Right. So bear that in mind. And then... This is again one that's going to have a bit more in because that's where my diagonal is. So, instead of our normal uh, back square, let me just move that out of the way. Oh, oh it's just sewing by itself. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Oh, our hard <laughs> it's because when like, I lifted Ugh. it, I pressed the yeah. start stop button. It was, okay. uh, it was right. So, when you come to put the cushion in, if you turn it half out like that, yeah. so you've got a nice big space, you get right. the cushion in first, then fold this other bit back over okay. to kind of conceal that cushion. And instead of our um, straight back yeah. that we have, we've got a diagonal one. Now, I will say though, you're probably going to need to put either uh, a button or some kind of additional fastening on that because it's a it's a wider um, span okay because um, obviously that's a shorter length of fabric that's a, a slightly longer length of fabric so I'll probably definitely put a button in there just to help that to close but instead it just makes nice change it does doesn't make, it? it looks absolutely makes lovely a nice change it's just something a bit different yeah. and you could do like for instance with these ones you could do with different patterns so they would be the front would be as yeah, decorative yeah. You could as have, the you could have a different one on on either side if you wanted to so you could have two different if you have a look at the cushions that are beside you um they've got diagonal patterns on the front yeah. so you could repeat that with a diagonal backing yeah why not yeah, that it makes a lot of sense to go for that. Now, of course, that is a feature in the one day special. It is a really gorgeous pattern. I love them because, um, you know, it sometimes is lovely to have beautiful kind of fabrics and things like that with incredible patterns. But to be honest, the ones that I reach most and more and more are the smaller prints because then when you especially English paper piecing or yeah. binding or sashing, you want that sort of more neutral but incredibly beautiful colours and little yes. tiny patterns. And you, you, smaller prints will always benefit you when it's things like sashing and binding and, and that kind of thing. Now what I will say is if you're going to do this diagonal uh, backing on here, just be careful with your pattern match if it is a directional one because obviously this goes in, in both directions there. You can see it comes yeah. kind of top to bottom and left to right um, and it's the same pattern on both paisley in this again you'd be absolutely fine because it goes in all sorts of directions so you'd be absolutely fine with that one however if you were going to do this kind of backing in this one where it is a directional print and the little kind of clamshells all go in one direction you need to make sure that you have them both going in the same direction so that when it matched up at the back 
it looked right. It is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets for the one day special. Um, it's sort of the thing that is not that usual that you see 63 inches in with a fabric. Having actually half meters, six of them in each of the one day special options, it's, it's, it's incredible, exceptional. Also, the fact that if you multi order, if you go to, for instance, of the geometric uh, monochrome in here, you can see it. If you wanted to go for that, you will have them cut into a continuous piece. So you would have a meter by 63 inches of each of those beautiful fabrics. Now, of course, and that is a one day special. So you have got that saving of 15 pounds. And of course, it's launched at 6 p.m. And it should, it should last until the following day. However, we also have got in this hour, happy hours. Now, those happy hours are for this hour and this hour only. The saving that you have got them in here is the courtesy of the happy hour. Now, you have got a saving of five pounds. You are just paying 9.99 for this charm pack. Uh, they are 5 by 5 inches, 100% cotton, and you are getting 42 beautiful fabrics in them. Uh, don't forget about the blend of fabrics. Those ones, of course, you have got different options, including grays, beautiful uh, beige as well as olive greens other and of course you have got different colors 9.99 is the price 655.965 do check out your basket special for the happy hours now Haley, we have got seconds yes, thank you I'm so much over there i'll see you in a minute i'll see you oh after the break <laughs> so do stay tuned Uh, well, after the break, well, uh, Yanis is joining Haley for Craft Yourself Silly. Then at uh, 10, Crafting with Clary we Weekend Wow. And then Taylor, Taylor, Mary's Making. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers, and I'm here to talk to you about the Stitched Up Ruler System. Stitched Up Ruler System was uh, born in America, and I saw how um, unique it was and wanted to bring it to the viewers on a chander. So what we've done is we've been designing these rulers and they are specific depth to work with the specific foot that you need but this enables you to be able to use this on a domestic sewing machine at home. We now design and manufacture the rulers and the feet here in Yorkshire. We've got lots of new designs and uh, new shapes coming to you and we can't wait to bring them to you at home. So make sure you don't miss the Stitched Up Ruler System with me on a chander. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Nextdoor and Crafts 2. 
I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Well, hello everybody. Good morning. It is Sunday and we have got a great hour lined up for you. We're talking craft yourself silly with the ledge that is the lovely Haley. Hello. Is it tired now? Let me explain. <laughs> Haley's done something and I think it is worthy, and I really mean this, worthy of place in the record books <laughs> because we realized that we were missing and we're going to feature in these fabri uh, fabulous uh, fabric panels, but we realized that we were missing a couple. So Haley said, bear with me. I've got them in my car. Now, considering we're in the studio, we had about two minutes before the hour was going live. Hayley, like, it was a little bit like a well-known superhero. You know when he goes <laughs> out the door and comes back in dressed oh, in his superhero gear? That door's much closer to the car, you isn't it? could have gone that way. But you left the door, and then suddenly you're back in seconds. I don't know how you did it. Magic. Magic. I think it is a little bit of magic. <laughs> uh, and these panels are magic, so let's explain what you are getting. Uh, nine panels. They are options. Should we go back to basics? You talk okay. about the, the very first so, Mandala panel. I think, did, you, did you do the very first I one did. with me? Oh, we yes. launched it at 7 in the evening. Did we? Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. So um, what we did was we took the kind of concept of a charm pack, but uh -huh. we've put it onto one big piece of fabric. And what we've done is create 99 separate images. So you could use these in all, all in one project if you wanted to. You could use them in lots of separate projects. I must apologize for the state of this because it literally has just come out of my car and the roll had snapped in the middle. So it's got that kind of wavy bit on it. It's okay. <laughs> but it's okay. So you've got 99 separate designs on here and no two repeats 99 different ones and they're all kind of designed for either you to do um, maybe you want to do sewing on them maybe uh, yeah. sewing uh, hand stitching on them embroidery. so maybe you want to do embroidery yeah. maybe you want to do free motion embroidery maybe you want to color them in with the pens Ooh. maybe you want to use them for applique it's entirely up to you what you use them for but essentially you're getting equivalent to two and a bit charm packs on there because in a charm Whoa. pack we just had one in the just had a charm pack in the happy hour yeah. of the previous, and that was on a good price. It yeah. was down at uh, 9.99 right. for 42 pieces. Yeah. So 42 times two is 84. Yeah. Doing all this maths and the running today, so I'm feeling quite proud of myself. You should do. Um, <laughs> so you've got 84. Yeah. Uh, that's an extra 15 that you're getting on there. I can see you doing the maths. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the eyes going. <laughs> <laughs> that's my maths face. <laughs> you have got a maths face. <laughs> It's not on your face, so please don't ask me a question. <laughs> so you are getting equivalent to two charm packs and a little bit extra, and there are 99 separate designs. How much would a charm pack, I know we had it as a happy hour deal, but let's forget yes. that, What's because that's obviously a special price. What would a normal charm pack retail? Like? Okay, so normally it'd be around the... Seventeen ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine. That's okay. Where let's, you're looking at. Let's make life easy and say fifteen pounds. Let's do Fair? that. Okay. Better maths. Fifteen pounds for <laughs> one charm pack. You are getting the equivalent of two and a half charm packs 
So £37.50 worth yeah. of charm packs with one bundle, you're getting 99 unique mandalas for 14 99 is ridiculous uh, value for money. And look, the amount of pro projects you could be doing here. Right, we're going to uh, go through all of these. So this is your... This is more mandalas. Yep. Uh, probably, um, it only is that way around because they came in quite so late. So okay. you've got more mandalas there. Yeah, okay. You've I'll got, under that, you've got butterflies. Then we have our butterfly. Oh, no, these are beautiful. So this one is always really, really popular. If you've got any fabric paints, imagine using those. I know it's something that uh, Even just using love inks, to do. spritzing yeah. the backgrounds oh. and then leaving the, the kind of black and white to, to do its thing. You can use your lots pens. And lots of options. You can use your this. embroidery. You can put just a colour wash of organza over that. Done. Imagine breaking this down and putting it onto a project. So whether you wanted to cut four out or if you just wanted to have these in a corner, if you wanted to have them uh, on a r table runner. Yeah, absolutely. You can just do the odd one. You can fussy cut them out if you want to and use them as kind of applique pieces. It's entirely up to you what you do with them. We are just giving you that kind of starting point. 99 unique butterflies, the equivalent of two and a half charm packs at your disposal, ready to go. Right, that's your butterflies. Then we have... Then we've got the Christmas one. Oh, uh, it's so Christmas. So this one, if you're wanting to mix this up with your mixed media as well, if you're wanting to add this uh, maybe onto, you know, maybe put them onto cards. Maybe make something that goes on the card that's removable. So maybe make them into coasters, because five inch square is a perfect coaster size. This, I think, because Christmas is, and we all, I think we all agree with this, Christmas is the busiest time for crafters, or getting ready for Christmas, I should say. So um, having something like this in your stash, being able to dip into it, just to take out a sentiment to put it on a card, or if you wanted to stitch it onto a stocking, yeah. or if you wanted to put it onto a, uh, any Christmas make. Absolutely anything. That's, and look at the Christmas I mean, tree. I love the Christmas tree. Santa, you, these, snowman. These are just there to start you off. Once um, you you know you can take them out and put them into other projects, then you're absolutely you're away. And also the other thing you've got to remember is you don't have to tackle it all at once. You can just do. Or, you're right there. I thought I'm getting the shoulder workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your Christmas. And then finally, we have. Uh, it's well, nice no, it's not that we put matching trousers on today, isn't oh, it? Okay. Yeah. Going for the. My, oh. Tell you what, they're skinny jeans. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, now, let's have a little look. This is your sewing panel. Yes, this is one this. of our new ones today. We brought you two new ones. We brought you the seaside one and the sewing one. So the sewing one is super cute. I really, really like yes. this one. Is that the Victorian just... one you as well? No, we had that on, you know, when they got the price wrong on the pen. Oh, yes. Okay. That. that was a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I was a very, Not we, quite so keen. <laughs> we, we, had a, we had a show on and realised the price was wrong. And we always tell you when it was wrong. And my goodness, were we busy. <laughs> we were very busy for that. Uh, OK, so look, those are just so, some of the panels. Fourteen ninety nine your price. We'll show you all of them just so we have an idea of what we've got. Now, these are nice. So these are the, uh, the Starburst ones. And these, I think, would work really, really well if you were just adding your spritzed inks to them and yeah. maybe a bit of hand stitching in there just to okay. kind of accentuate those as either fireworks, maybe dandelion clocks. There's I, a lot you could maybe make out of these. I actually think these would be a very easy project for hand embroidery. So you can see just a canther stitch, running stitch, maybe uh, add a few lazy daisies on there. Oh, get you! Hey? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, well impressed. I'm just shouting out as many stitches as I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheeky little French knot in the centre, flourish of French knots. Why not? Maybe. Go for it. Fourteen ninety nine your price there, saving four pounds. Three five four. Uh, sorry, no, three three four five five four. Your item number. And right. remember, you don't have to do all of these projects yourself because no. you came up with a really good idea of chopping it up, sending, sending it, out. it. Maybe if you've got a craft group, oh, and, and you can't all get together at the minute then, you know, split it up. And we've had this, actually, a couple of people have used your idea. Ah. And uh, I think it was the Newcastle Embroiderers Guild rang us up and said, can we have some? We want to send them out to the different members and then they're going to um, use sashing to put it together and make a, a whole panel. This is amazing. Yannis we've got Yannis to see idea. a picture of that once that's done. Yes, I, I, am, I have asked for a picture once ah. it's done. I love that. <laughs> OK, so we're going to move on to the Victorian tiles, which... 
Might favorite, be one favorite. of my faves. Yeah, this I is my favorite. Favorite, I think. There's something beautiful about the tile anyway. This one, Look I think, lends designs. itself more to the the coloring in because some of these are quite detailed. So this one lends itself a little bit more to the pens, I think, than anything else. Yeah. But um, even if you just want to cut them out and sew them together, and with this one, I did kind of. Are you trying to get your nose in shot? Is that oh. what it is? <laughs> It's good. It Normally it gets in there a lot quicker. <laughs> that was good, I liked it. Just a tiny Just a peek. peek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, this one, as I said, your colouring, your pens, your uh, inks, you can have a lot of fun with this one. It's a lot more, it's one of the most detailed panels that we've done. They're, each one, now considering that each tile is unique, they are absolutely stunning. They really are. I love the flourishes that you've got on in there. Uh, and you could imagine these in so many different guises as well. That, I'm at the risk of sounding unoriginal, I think it's going to be my favourite as well. Favourite, favourite? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. And the other thing with that one is you'll notice each of those tiles has its own little border around, and that's a quarter inch. Okay. So when you sew them together, they should... Oh, butt up. Butt up, thing, that's yeah. what I was looking for. Now, Hayley... Just I, international symbols. Yeah, for for <laughs> butting butt up. up. <laughs> um, I, last week, I went to Hen Stanton for a Did week. Did you? Yeah, weather was shocking, but we've got a bit of a nautical... <laughs> all of those things were there. All of these things were here, <laughs> were there. Uh, love this. So we've got our nautical feel. So we've got a, a seaside one. Huh? Well, there's an octopus at our seaside because we've, we've got a... Aquarium. <laughs> well, they go, no. By the sea, these are these are iconic seafaring yes. images. Yeah, you've got all of your kind of. I like the knots as well. Actually, I think the knots are quite a, oh, yes. a, a nice one. The kind of nautical knots up there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I really. There's some light, there's really some nice images. There's some vintagey stuff. There's some more kind of. More, and, but you don't again. You don't have to use them all in one project. You could take just all of the knots out, or just all of those compasses or ships' wheels out, mm -hmm. and use all of those in one project, and then use the other ones in other projects. John, thinking you cut out a panel, even if you just wanted to take one of these panels, say the compass, you can do some embroidery, do some coloring in on that. Take it off, cut it out, yep. uh, and then put it onto some burlap, and then put that onto a project. Exactly. Just one. I mean, in theory, you've got 99 different projects there. Wow. So hang on. If so, that's how much per project is that then? Well, it would be around about one, one thirty something. One pound forty-two. No, that's not right. It's like fourteen pence. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Understand where no, you no, were going just, it's very early. It's very early for me. To... <laughs> Too early for maths. I guess I say it confidently, and then I wait to be corrected. Uh, yeah, no, it was about fourteen. Everyone looked at me like, "What?" About I fourteen it's, pence. It seems expensive. Just below fourteen pence. Uh, but look, fourteen pence per project is incredible. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Uh, got to uh, move on. Then you've got your feathers, yep. and this is again yep. another one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dodge cameras, I don't know. I feel another, like I'm doing paper. You have a little seat. There you oh, go. Okay. okay. Uh, we've seat. got the feathers. Uh, you've got the, the feathers. feathers. This is another really, really popular one. And you've got a mixture of designs on here. You've got some with slightly kind of heavier outlines, which maybe lend themselves a little bit more to mixed media. This is a brilliant one to use with your mixed media, and then fussy cut them out. Maybe use a little bit of PVA to stay. You're just pulling the curtains too. Just pulling it, just so we. Can see there you go the ones that you can can see oh, oh, oh a bit much <laughs> right. and then the last one that we have is our original panel that started everything this is for where us it all began. which is the mandalas yeah. panel straighten up so mandalas let's have a little look at these these are lovely <laughs> So these ones are our original ones, nice fine lines. These are perfect for embroidery. I mean, each one of these is an individual project. That's quite a little embroidery project in yeah. its own right. Oh, look, look, I love that one. How cool is that? Uh, okay, those are all your options. Fourteen ninety nine your price. We're going to have some fun this hour. And Hayley and I, whenever we work together, we always have a, a bit of a giggle. But one thing I don't want to detract from is the quality you're getting here and the possibility. So whichever option, 99 elements, and they are individual elements. You're not getting any repeats. And in each panel, this for me is the real salient point, you are getting two and a half charm packs. And we can all relate to that. So two and a half charm packs for 14.99 considering normally you'd pay what around about 15 pounds uh, mark for a charm pack so uh, it's great value for money and it is something wonderfully original okay we got something so, else here now it doesn't look exciting i, okay. I give you that 
Well, but it's very exciting. It's not what you can see. It's what's on the inside that counts for this one. That's what I tell so, people. So, what you're getting is, is this the big one? I can't see the thing. This is the right. big one. Okay, this is the big one. So, you are getting all of the files yeah. that you see that make up all of these um, 99 panels. Yeah. So, you're getting everything from the new ones, the seaside and the sewing. You're getting mm. the feathers, the starburst, the Christmas, the mandalas, the more mandalas, the Victorian tiles. That's nine. Excellent. Um, you're getting all of those files on there. You're getting them as PDF. Right. So you can print them straight out and use them for applique or, you know, cut them out and use them in other crafts, mixed media if you want to. Yeah. And you're also getting them as SVG. SVG means you can use them in all of your cutting machines. Ah, yeah, nice. cricket silhouettes, all of that. Wow. So you're getting an awful lot on there. That's a huge uh, amount. It might come on more than one stick. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot there. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but what you're also getting with this big bundle is you're getting a hundred sheets of the special paper. So talk to Ooh. me about the special paper. The special paper is embroidery paper. So it is it's like a Goldilocks paper. If you've ever tried to do free motion through normal copier paper, mm -hmm. it's that little bit too thick. Mm -hmm. And then when you try and tear it away, what it does sometimes is it pulls your stitches. Mm -hmm. This is half the weight. Uh -huh. So it'll still go through a printer. But it's half the weight, and I've got some bits here. So we could print our designs yep. onto the print paper, your and then onto we the could paper. go over with our embroidery, uh, exactly. with our sewing machine. So this, these yeah. are a few that I've got printed out here from the sewing collection. Okay. Let me get those there. So I've got uh, some of the tape measures. Which is my left? This way. This way. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Which is my? <laughs> I'm so bad yeah. with left and right. Well, it's not at least even you can funny. Do maths. I, can't. I can do maths, but. Yeah. <laughs> My general sense of direction is pretty good, like I can get home, yeah. but if somebody told me turn left, I'd be like... Which way? I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, you can print them onto the paper using your printer, and then this is one that I've run through the um, machine. So you can see that's the side on the front that's still got the paper on, but we're going to tear that away in a minute. Okay. But, look at the quilting designs that oh. you can now add. And think about all, to the, all the of your work. And these are just yeah. come as PDFs, so you'll be able to print them from your normal printer. I mean, most um, computers have something like uh, an Adobe or a mm -hmm. Firefox or something, something like that, which will be able to yeah. print um, a, a PDF. A PDF. Yeah. And when you go to print it, you can also scale them at that point. So if you want it smaller and larger, like the ones that I've got on here. Now, we've actually just had a question <laughs> about that. What was the question? Oh, can you resize? Yes, absolutely. So it doesn't happen on the stick. It yeah. happens when you come to print it out. So yeah. um, there should be a little scale option when you go to print it out, yeah. and then you can make them smaller and larger yeah. based on that. That one's kind of actual size, and you can see that's the same size as you, you're getting on your um, uh, panels, yeah. on your um, charm square panels, uh -huh. and then that's one that I've enlarged there. Nice. I have copied them both onto one sheet for ease okay. but what you can also do is you can also print multiples so rather than waste your paper yeah. and either cut it in half and feed it through your printer as a5 right. or print two I'd at the same that. time yeah just copy, copy yeah. Uh, yeah. two so okay. once you've uh, stitched through oh sorry have no. you got stuff to do no i was just going to show you how to use yeah, it no, i was okay, excited no. well, you can pull it away. Yeah, <laughs> i get giddy well, I tell you what, should I just very do quickly... All the, do all the housekeeping. We've got happy hours, shall okay. I at least say okay. about the happy That's hours? that's fine. Right? Yeah. You can do it. Uh, I'll because let we you. have got some happy hours just for this hour, so do take advantage. Details are on your screen if you do want to go for the USB with the 100 sheets of embroidery paper. 23.33, your first flexi payment on that. Amazing. Right, we've got some pens for you. These were very busy. You are getting all 26. And Hayley's saying this is it. This is the last... Uh, stock she has of these. She's not bringing these particular pens back only because I know that you're developing okay, your own pens. Right. Yeah, they're going to get their own pens. But these are incredible. Can you just tell us a little bit about the pens? Hey? Okay, so these are the zebra pens, and uh, these are the ones that we first started the fabric colouring with, and they're the Sarasa clip ones. And the reason that these are so good is because they've got that super fine tip. So you once you iron detail. them, once you press them, they are completely um, the colour safe and yep. they're, they're solid once you've ironed them. But you do need to press them for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. So they're a super fine tip. They'll come with a. Um, uh, kind of red oh you can see <laughs> you can see the little red <laughs> plastic yeah. tip so that, on we there just, the little we just red knock wax that tip. Off. you just knock that off and they're ready to go nice uh, but look the fact is it's just the quality the flow that you get with these you can heat set them 
lovely colors. The fact the zebra pens as well, that you know it's coming from a, a well-known Japanese company, uh, so the provenance is there. There are places that actually still manufacture them in Japan, so, um, you know, really good kind of quality. Do you want me to put that, well? should I put that back on? No. Okay. Uh, right, 28, 29. Hey, I, could, I could ask you to do that, and then that would occupy you for at least 20 minutes. 20 for the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> saving 20 pounds if you do want to get hold of this set. 28, 29, you are getting all of them. You're getting the metallics in there and all of the colours to use on your fabrics. Uh, 102, 404, your item number. Very busy for those. Uh, and then we have got our metallics. If you just want to go for the metallics, you're going to get five of each. So half price deal, it's another happy hour deal. There you can see. Uh, you're getting five of each of those. Uh, just all your metallic pens. So 10 pens in total, 14.99 your price, saving 15 pounds. 907, 266 your item number. The last time Haley and I worked together, we brought you the pens. Both options sold out. This is the last stock Haley has. So if it does sell out, we're not bringing any back on. And Haley, I am right before I say this, we're not bringing any back on extended gone, delivery. That's it. So once Game it's gone, over. it is gone. Please take advantage of those savings. Uh, speaking of savings, we got some uh, seven day savers. Now, last opportunity to get. No, it's new. Sorry, of course. We've launched our new ones. This is one of ours this week. I thought one. it was Saturday. So and tell us about it. We have uh, brought this because we on the 14th, we've got a big weaving. Uh, one day special. Oh. I was going to say to do, but it's to not. Do. It's a one day special. <laughs> and um, this stuff is fantastic. It's really, really chunky. We need to find it because it's. Um, you need to see it to believe we will quite try and, how chunky it try is. And show you physically. Um, we'll, we'll go and grab it. And I know there's a few knitted samples for this as what well, kind of, kicking about. We, so we'll find those. This is way bigger than DK, right? Oh yeah. This is. I mean, you, kind of four ply is one of the chunkiest that you'd normally get. Yeah. This is almost kind of the width of my little finger. It's it's really it's super chunky. It's super chunk. Super uh, chunky. Nineteen ninety nine. Your price there. Saving ten pounds. Pick the option that speaks to you. 006 539 Your item number. Okay, we're okay. going to get to demonstration. Yes, what I'm are we going to do now? Hayley? I've finished running around, so we're uh -huh. sorted now. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the samples that we've got because uh, you'll see on this one here that there's kind of an outside and an inside on it. And when you're working with that, then it's sometimes nicer to cut the big outside shape in black to yeah. keep, create a really strong outline and then cut these inner pieces in maybe if you want to do it yellow or blue for your tape measure and this is the kind of effect you get these are some some of the, uh, the ones that are coming in the future there you go so you've got a little chameleon but you can see just by um, satin stitching them on you can create really kind of striking effects so you can use all of these as applique but what I wanted to demonstrate, because I know we haven't got time to do everything in a single hour, what I wanted to do was um, the bits that we've been sewn on. So I've used a, um, I've just done one set round this first time, but you can see how much more easily this peels away. Now we have if a you've question. ever tried this with yep. a, a copy paper, uh, you, you kind of get so far, and unless you've done two or three rows and you're always left with these little bits, yeah. Um, this just tears away so much more easily and you can see it's not pulling those stitches as I go as well. Big difference. Would this be... Oh, I suppose no, you wouldn't what? use it for English paper piecing, would you? Um, it's a bit too thin. For, yeah. You want kind of something a little bit thicker okay. for English paper piecing. Okay. But this is that perfect tears away really for nicely. your... Um, oh, I've got a little... And if you get ones that are a little bit stuck there, just kind of come from the other side right. and um, pull it see how I'm pulling it away from me yeah oh there you go that will that will help you as well okay. but you'll be able to pull all of these out now I've just done one row of stitching on here right. in this bit in the center if I can just break it that's actually got three rows of stitching on so this one I'll put it's a smaller piece but it'll pop out really easily Ali, as we're doing that we had a question in from Sue and she just yep. wants to know with regard to the panels when we get these home should we wash them? Uh, you, we recommend you wash any fabric okay. before you start work yeah. on it. Um, but yes, I would say definitely. Give them a wash. Yeah. If, you, oh. if it's something you're going to put into a quilt and you're going to use um, and you're going to wash regularly, mm -hmm. then yes. If you're too excited and you're just going to do embroidery on it, then oh. yeah, go okay. for it. <laughs> these would, the more I look at these and every time I do this show, I, I'm always thinking oh, about ways. You see ways. a different one every time, yeah. don't you? But also ways to use them. I, imagine like the mandalas on a cushion would look incredible. 
yeah, embroidered you can, detail. You can absolutely use these in whichever way you like. They're mm. really just kind of set up for you to go um, and do what it, well, take whatever you want to it. So if you're looking to do your mixed media, you absolutely yeah. can. If you're looking to do uh, your embroidery and your stitching, perfect. Maybe yeah. you're looking to do machine embroidery with them. Fine. Just seeing the characters. Right. Yeah. Do you like them? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a manatee. That's from our nautical um, panel, manatee. and then you've got the crab in there as well. Yeah. How, how did you do these? I know you use the batik. <laughs> oh yeah, these ones over the batiks, and um, we've got a. I think we've got a little pick and mix of some of these uh, batik fat quarters actually, because I've got a couple here that just use the so little. They're, they're half meters on there. So, but how did you get such a, a defined edge around the? Uh, right. So right. first of all, it's um it's a black piece that's been put on first. So this is the easiest one to kind of demonstrate it with. Okay. So that whole outside edge, yeah. that was cut just as a plain black piece. Okay. And then these bits, so that circle there and that um, inner circle, was cut as a, a yellow. Ah. And that's how you create that really big chunky defined. defined edge like that if you do want to go for the uh, batiks you can find them uh, on our website and well so actually we'll flash the details at the bottom of your screen so it is a pick and mix any four for 19.99 that's really so good value for money working from the back I love a batik you can see that if you want to quilt these through because that's all I've got here I've got white fabric a uh, piece of batting and then another piece of white fabric and this is the same white quilting cotton that we do in the five meter bolts which you'll be able to find on the on the website but you can see how you can create kind of maybe you're doing a, a special a quilt as you go project where you're looking at uh, kind of handling one block at a time then this could work really really well yeah. you know you don't have to necessarily have um, a, a sewing pattern on it it could be sewing themed fabric he's off he's, he's coloring i thought i just did a bit he's going, okay you are listening to you very attentively yes yeah because yeah, that always happens <laughs> So once you've got it on there, it is literally kind of, I've just put that first layer on just so I can see where my stitches are. Then I'm going to come in and sometimes you will have to kind of go in and split it with your scissors just so you can get the access to peel it off. And then you can peel all of that paper off. And then if you want to go back around a second and third time to create your kind of scribble effects, you absolutely can. So you can see that, you know, it, it peels off really, really easily and there's no little bits of paper left white on white maybe not my best plan um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but never mind it's fine it's okay. but I think what we'll do is I've got another piece ready to go and I've got my free motion foot on my machine so I'll show you how you can actually kind of create these okay let me grab this one so I'll do the sewing machine one I've probably picked quite no. an ambitious option here but Hayley, can, can we talk for a moment because the complete bundle, I've got to do working. the uh, nine, uh, you're getting ni 99, nine times 99 panels, so 891 images in total. 46.66 your price. Look at the saving of 46.60, so a half price saving there. I can tell you, nearly half the stock is gone. We're only 26 minutes into the show, so we are very busy there. And also, hey, Haley, you'll like this. Oh, you're getting something. Look. Sorry. I'll Sorry. Look, just did. Which one are you doing, Seagull? I'll, do, I'll, 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 we'll get a close up. <gasps> you don't need to do a lot with these panels. A little splash no, of colour, and that's that using the zebra pen. Oh, do his feet. I have. Oh, excellent. I wasn't looking at the monitor. So I just put Sorry. a little bit of yellow, and then I put the, because you know, seagulls, they have the little bit of lipstick on there. I put the they little do. bit of red. Oh, you have. You put a little bit of red yeah. on the end on a herring gull. <laughs> oh, okay. Grey um, wings. Yeah, Grey wings. Grey wings, please. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Got to tell you, with regard to the <laughs> pens, 80% of the stock has gone, so it looks like the pens, and when they've gone, that is it. Now, I'm telling you for a fact, I know sometimes I've said this and the buyers have found more stock. Hayley no, knows, <laughs> because when these are gone, the next time you see fabric pens, Hayley's going to be bringing their own craft yourself silly pens. So if you want to get the zebra pens at these kind of savings, now's the time to do it. 80% of the stock, they are absolutely going to go. Okay, right, so I am all set up. And I had to start off with, with, once you've printed it off the printer, I had to go and get a seat. Sorry, because we, <laughs> we moved the bench down because it was short. And then I suddenly realised that, because I, I was just going to sew standing up, and then I realised it was, do it. <laughs> it was too low. 
It's fine. It's absolutely fine. So, uh, to start this off, so once you've printed it off the printer, what you next need to do is just uh, either you can use one of those removable sprays or removable glues if you want to. If you don't want to do that, then just simply pin it in place. That's all you're looking for. It's, and you don't need tons of pins in there, just anywhere where it's going to move. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then one more, I think, about there. And mm, mm, there we go. Okay, so pinned in place, then we'll just take it to the sewing machine. So I've got a free motion foot on here. And I haven't knocked the feed dogs off because I actually prefer this machine with the free motion foot to have the feed dogs on because then it gives me a more even stitch length. So the whole thing is going to go under the foot. And then I'm going to go for initially the outer line. Now, you've got options with this because you've got your outer lines and your inner lines. Yeah. And you can applique these. You can just stitch them. So if I didn't want to do both lines on this, I could just use the outer line. Okay. So we'll maybe so do choices. the outer line first and then come back and, and have a little look and see what else we want to add. Let's just find my pedal. There we go. And all I'm doing is sewing through the paper and the fabric and just keeping a nice steady speed because with this kind of thing, the slower and steadier you go, the better results that you're going to get. Okay. And you want to, if you are doing kind of free motion and you are moving it yourself, what you don't want to do is kind of lunge too far forward because if you have just, you know, more sporadic um, needle points, a larger stitch length, it's going to be slightly more difficult for you to, to take it out and rip it out. So I, I do a kind of combination of, of free motion and kind of moving it around myself the traditional way of you know kind of going around corners because okay. it's I think it's a lot easier to see where you're going if you're going kind of the way you would normally sew and you're going forward let me just get rid of this <laughs> I told you it was chunky pepper <laughs> we have well, shall, shall we show everyone this is the size when we talk about chunky yarn uh, this you, is one of our seven day of savers so I, I should, it might be easier to see it with the burgundy look I mean that do you remember that show, Honey, I, I Shrunk the Kids? <laughs> it's like the opposite one when they grew. Look, it's huge. I mean, it even looks big in your hands. I, and I've got very and big hands. And you've got big Greek hands. This is, this is what normal people's hands must feel like. Uh, so now, the size and the colour options. Uh, the, sorry, the, you've got burgundy, five different colour options, I should say. Burgundy, bright red, uh, cream, dark, grey, and navy. So we're seeing them all here. Now, you're going to get four of each for 19.99 that is absolutely incredible value for money and it is what i would say to you the soft how is it so soft Haley? it's a uh, it's polyester it's an acrylic uh, is it a polyester or an acrylic it's a uh, um it's completely hypogenic yeah. and as you can see on the back it's um it's got all the washing instructions on there so it's really easy to care for as well oh, sure so if you're maybe thinking of doing chunky blankets and things uh, perfect for that. So you can uh, you can wash it and you can double dry it, but no dry cleaning. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, so maybe seeing... a super chunky jumper. Oh. Hey, oh. Haley, I've got something else that you might like. Look at this. Oh, Just going back that... to the page. <laughs> yeah, I put some of the grey in, like you said. That I found the good. silver. Use the silver. That's good. Oh, we've got little highlights around his head uh, and stuff as well. Uh, uh. Wow. Uh, apologies. I've, I've kind of detracted away from the seven day saver there. But uh, look, seven day savers are busy. And Amy, you were saying there's a one day special coming up. It's there well worth stocking um, up on this. Well, there you are. Got... Uh, well worth stocking up on this now because you're going to want this for a seven day saver coming up. When is it? 14th. Okay. So not this Monday, next Monday. Right. So we have um, uh, some really interesting. We've done shaped weaving looms. So they're, they're all sorts of different shapes, so, and they're designed to stay on the frame once you're done, so you can use them as, as wall art and things. I've so seen think, you bring similar concepts before, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good one. So and I'm using one of the designs. Uh, this is the sewing panel, because I know in the big bundle that's on the screen at the minute, you are getting all nine of the packs, all nine of the 99s. So that's 999s. 981. 891. 891. Oh, it's yeah. close. Yeah, exactly. um, so you're getting all of them. However, if you just want two or three of them, you can get the um, data sticks on their own with 
um, just pick and mix the panels that you, you want to go for. Um, and the paper is available on its own as well. So if you're wanting to draw your own designs and then sew those on, I think there's a 30-sheet bundle of paper. Do you want to do some numbers, Yanis? I'm sorry, Haley, but you go. know you've given me colouring in. <laughs> you know what that does. Uh, so if you do want to get hold of this, 19 99 your price, saving £4. Uh, pick a mix for three, but it's just the panels. So you're just deciding uh, which three you want to go for. But still, great value for money. If you do want to get the paper, that's at the bottom of your screen, 9.99 there. Or you can go for the big bundle as well. With regard to the paper, just by itself, you're getting 30 sheets. It's lighter weight, and it's designed to use with your stitching. So it is designed specifically for your embroidery and your stitching. How was that? That was good. Thank you very much. Yeah, Crack thank on. You. Thank you. <laughs> I'm nearly round here. I've gone all the way around the base and I'm just going to do this outline and then take it off because sometimes if you're quilting, you don't want like, a, you know, a huge piece of really involved stitching on there. So we're just going to go around the outside. I might miss the bobbin off just to make it a little bit quicker. Mm, just oh, Apparently I can't miss the bobbin off. <laughs> Jimmy said no. They're harsh taskmasters. <laughs> they are, aren't they? I'm like, will you come and sew it then? <laughs> oh, Peps is coming. She's we're swapping. <laughs> she, she'll, she'll never shy down from challenge. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's quite straightforward. Even if you haven't got a free motion foot, if you take your time and you, um, even if you can't uh, move your feed dogs either, you should be able to do this just by taking your time and moving the needle and the fabric around as you kind of go. You should still be able to achieve this because I do prefer to kind of turn it so I can see where I'm going. Um, there you go. Happy Jimmy? Got your bobbin on? Excellent. <laughs> And I wouldn't necessarily always do it in this really dark thread. Um, I'm doing it in a really dark thread so you can see what I'm doing. But if you wanted something a little bit more subtle and you just wanted to add a little bit of something extra to a, a quilt, then you could absolutely use these with the paper as quilting templates okay. as well. So now you could always put a bit of fabric under here first. We've got something? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely, I was listening. I just missed what you said. No, you I was. I was actually, <laughs> at that point, I thought so I should be listening. You don't just have to have it as, as quilting. If you want to use it as a PK, then put yeah. the fabric under there first. Do your top layer. Uh -huh. and Just yet. Yeah, no, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, <laughs> do your top layer. Then uh, take the, pa the paper and cut away the excess fabric that's underneath. We should have done that. Oh, if I wasn't in such a rush, oh. I would have remembered. Sad face. Okay. So this is an old style one with a handle. If you didn't want the handle on, you could just sew straight down at this point and, and chop it off. But I've committed now, so I'm going around okay. the handle. Jimmy says we must have the handle as well. <laughs> you can come and sew it then next time, Jimmy. How long have we... Oh, I've gone wonky because I wasn't paying attention. I'm distracting you. Oh, it's okay. I'll just sneak around here. We'll be okay. I think everybody can give free motion a go. I think it's quite quite a nice one, and especially if you've got maybe not got the confidence to just go for it on your own, yeah. and you're looking for kind of templates and stencils and things, this is a great way to do it. It's just such an easy way to... You're just following the lines, basically, and as long as you keep an eye on where you're going and you're not chatting to directors and presenters, presenters. who are ignoring you, um, then you can... <laughs> I like <heard> that. <laughs> I was just checking if you were still paying attention. <laughs> this happens every time I get a colouring show, it's you. Oh. And you just zone out on me. I, I, I'll freely admit, and I, I <laughs> honestly, I will accept this, I cannot multitask. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't do it, I re and I, I accept that. But, I, the pen, have we still got, have we still got any uh, stocks of the pens? Because then, oh, Hayley, I think the pens have gone. Oh, sad face. Well, well done to everyone who got Yeah, well done, pens. but yeah, sad face. Well, we will be bringing more pens back. Have we, have we still got the metallics? Okay, okay we've still got the metallics. Them, and that's, I tell you what, the metallics are a great They're value a as well. Yes, so if you just want them near the key, one. you're getting a gold and silver. You never got I'll introduce some gold and silver into my design now. Fourteen ninety nine, your price there, saving £15. Pounds. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I am all the way round and I'm gonna just flip this over and I'm just gonna go back and forth over that join to make sure we've got a good nice solid join on there and then and that's taken me what four or five minutes 
we just take yeah. these excess threads off the back. Okay. Uh, there's my little seam. Oh, my seam pickers at the other. My seam pickers at the other end. But so I could stop there. Um, if I decided that that was enough, if I wanted to put the extra borders and things in, I absolutely could. So if I wanted to add more detail, like the insides and, and these extra lines that we've got, you can absolutely do that. I'll tell you what, shall I do so? I'm going to set up for another one with some fabric. Okay. While um, you maybe do some work for a bit. I will do a little bit of work. Just a little bit. I'm not I asking for a lot. Just, just a little bit? Just this much. That is normally all, all I offer. Oh, we All I offer with my work. That's it. I'll just do a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm going to okay. go get some stuff. Sorry, So, can we recap on the panels? The panels are all busy. Can I, can I show this as well? Look, this is my, what I've been working on. I've been going on to the boat now as well. Are they great? There we go. Uh, right, now, I feel like a little boy presenting this to the family and they're going to put it up on the fridge. Uh, right, we are going to recap on the panels. The panels are so busy. Can I just put this into context before we look at all of these? Because when Hayley said it, and I was like, as a presenter, when you get that eureka moment, and as crafters you can appreciate it, when you hear something you're like, I get it. What Hayley's done here is giving you two and a half charm packs. So this is the equivalent of two and a half charm packs worth of designs for $14.99. Now, how much would you normally pay for a charm pack? Forget getting it as a deal, because I know we did have it as a special price uh, the last hour. But normally, charm pack anywhere from 15 to 18 pounds. So here, you're getting two and a half uh, packs worth of charms for $14.99. There is not a repeat. Now, this is the, um, this one is our mandala. More mandalas, apologies. So this is the more mandalas. And this is kind of the evolution. It began with the mandalas. Then Hayley brought you the more mandalas. Uh, they were so immensely popular. As crafters, as sewers, if you really want to inject a huge amount of designs, and also it's the possibilities, because thinking about just hand stitching, hand embroidery, using your machine, putting small ganza, using the pens, there are so many options to go with the mandalas there. So that is more mandalas. What we'll do is go through all of the panels. So there we go. That was your more mandalas. Then we have all these designs are exquisite. Have a look at these butterflies. Now, how lovely are those? So you're getting a beautiful kaleidoscope of butterflies. You get to decide the color, the feel. Are you going to be introducing some uh, metallic thread, some variegated thread into the mix? Again, organza would work so well. Just that color wash coming through. Yeah, love that. So there are your butterflies. Uh, then we have our Christmas. This is a really good buy. I know Christmas is popular, and I think this is well worth consideration because being able to snip in so we, if you wanted to make a quilt, you've got two and a half charm packs worth of designs. Have you got any quilts uh, or charm pack projects, patterns? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a great, Hayley was saying, you could just quite simply red work it up if you wanted. So the point is, if you've already at home got patterns that looks or like books, you. looks a bit like me. Yeah. Okay. I think like, it does. His nose is so much smaller. Okay, I'll make a new elf with, with a big nose. With a Yannis, Yannis elf. Well, <laughs> that's what you want to hear. I'll make a new elf with a big nose. That will be you. <laughs> and that's you. Yannis the elf. I, I hold you to it. I'm expected to see a big nosed elf. Uh, and then we have our. This is the sewing option. Sewing. This, by the way, most popular it's option. It's the new one. It's yeah. the new one. Half the stock has gone for the sewing uh, one. You're getting two and a half charm packs worth of designs just raring to go and you you are ultimately then the curator of your destiny 14.99 is the price i don't actually know where that's that came from <laughs> that's I, quite grand felt, for a piece of fabric <laughs> i felt i was possessed for a moment by someone very articulate uh 14.99 <laughs> is your price and i'm back i'm back 
Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Oh. Your price there. Three three four five five four. You see, it's the other guests say you get away with it, and I'm I like, actually what? Don't know where that came from. <laughs> yeah, I'll just sit there and take uh, okay. it. Okay. Now we've got more for you. Uh, let's take a look here. These are our bursts. Oh our star dear bursts. me, Yanis. I, I like these. Hayley, the starburst. Um, I am paying attention. I'm just ripping yeah, the rest of this off. That's okay. Yes. See, we do it to each other, Hayley. Uh, so you've got your lovely starburst here. Fourteen ninety nine. Your price. Saving four pounds. I see lots in this one. No, I was in Destiny because uh, oh. I thought you like it. Uh, you know. Nice. There you go. There you go. <laughs> do you know? Uh, I do think, and I said this before, joking aside, for just hand embroidery, you can connect up and just adding that stitch. So even if it's a straight stitch, if you wanted a back stitch, uh, do uh, lazy daisies, French knots. You know, you don't need me to go through them all, but would look fantastic. <laughs> oh, I, I did. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Your price there. Three three four five five uh, four. Your item number. Now, this Victorian Tiles has to be favorite. busy. Has it busy? Yeah, good. Uh, half the stock of the Victorian tiles has gone, and I'm so pleased because it really does deserve to be busy. Look at the detail that you're getting in these tiles, and there is no duplicates. Each one of these tiles is unique, so you're going to get a unique design in those. Have you ever been to a home with in the hallway and just yes, seen those beautiful Victorian exactly tiles? that's exactly what inspired it, yeah. the, the kind of hallway Because it tiles. looks incredible. So there's so many different designs coming through. 99 designs. Two and a half charm packs worth of design work. Uh, Fourteen ninety-nine. Your price there. Three three four five five four. Your item number. They all share the same item number. You are just picking the design that speaks to you. I was having a little bit of a play with our seaside, and I have to say, seaside is really nice. Well, bear with. Ooh. <laughs> stand down. Stand down. I was just going to get the bit I was working on, but we have a look. Yeah. This is just to show you with a bit of colour how you can transform. No. I didn't know you'd done the boat. Eh? That's what you know when you were talking and saying he's not paying attention. That's what I was doing. And do you know what I deliberately missed off uh, to look like the foam of the waves coming through? So I didn't do it all in blue. I'm glad you're impressed by that. I Haley. am impressed uh, by that. So, that one's very good. Thank you. Let me pop that down. Thank you, Molly. Thank you. Uh, so we're getting all the designs. You've got your compasses in there, your anchors, your uh, wheel, your knots. Iconic images that really transport you to the sea. Fourteen ninety nine. Your price there. Three three four five five four. Then we have the feathers. I don't know if I jot around here. We've got the feathers for you. So. I like this. Mixed media projects. I mean, beautiful. There's something about feather that I just well, love anyway. These you could cut them out as well and maybe add a bit of that PVA, make, yeah. uh, you know, make them sculptural. Yeah. Why the devil not? Cut them. Well, if you do have... Now, how about this for an idea? If you have a fabric hardener, something like a Powertex, and you were to then put Powertex over there and cut it out and sculpt it and colour it, how incredible would that look? So those are your feathers, 99 individual feathers wonderful designs and then finally we have the starting point where it all began this is your mandalas so if you have just discovered the fabric panels maybe you did miss out on the launch of the mandalas a couple of months ago or a few months ago it was at the beginning of lockdown wasn't it was it? i think like it was the March. first one that we did remotely yeah so you uh, and I? no we were together I were, we? we were together we were together oh yeah uh, 14.99 your price there it all blurs into one yanis as we reminisce uh, okay, so those are all the panels, but if you want to go for the complete set with the USB and the papers, this actually sold out. We are now on extended delivery, so just a week, look, a week for that saving and what you are getting is well worth it. You are getting the complete collection, all nine panels, 99 designs on each, 800 uh, and 81 in total, and you've got two flexi paints of 23 pounds. Not only that, you're getting the stitching paper as well, so you're getting your embroidery paper too. That's not really an exciting picture, is it? Well, it's okay, but we now, can see. if you want to see what's in each of them, if you go to the one where you can pick and mix them, and um, we actually have put the kind of whole block with all of the designs on because we can't put 99 individual pictures up because it'll just crash the website. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> They won't like that. Uh, so we did put one big image up with all of those on. So okay. you can go and have a look there if you want to see what's on there. Amazing. So I just wanted to give you one more tip for uh, working with these and when you come in to take the paper out, especially with little fiddly areas like this. So all you can, if you can't get into the centre of it, if you just use a pin 
and just scratch along the top of it because the paper is that kind of for embroidery it's that goldilocks paper it's thick yeah. enough but thin enough um, if you just scratch it with a pin and then slide that underneath just give it a little wiggle and then that will that will kind of come out for you so um, I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the same type of thing but I'm going to put fabric underneath it first okay. so we're going to put that underneath we're going to have we got time to do the big one got about uh, five six, six minutes? minutes no uh, <laughs> the answer to that is no <laughs> so I'm going to take that off and we're going to pop that onto there fabric underneath and then we've got pins in over the top probably I mean this could just be a plique so it didn't need to go through all of these extra layers but because I've got this piece here we'll do it anyway and pop that there so there you go, we're ready to go. And that's going to go again under the machine. Okay. All of the layers, including the fabric. And then I'm going to quickly whip around that dress. Maybe I don't need all of this. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. I've, all. Yeah, I, I think I'm making myself a, a, a more difficult task there. There we go. That's probably a little easier. Um, pop that down. And uh, there we go. So we're going to quickly go around the dress. Now with this, I'm going to go around the dress and then I will probably have a second one of these or cut that bit off at the bottom so I can use that a little bit later because it's just the dress that I want to be kind of coloured in on this one and I'll come back. And So when I tear this piece off at the bottom, I'll be quite careful with it so I can hang on to it and put it back on okay. to create the, the legs for it after I've done the dress. Nice. So I'm going to pop that down twist it and come back up here I should have enough time to get this one done I reckon so nice. once you've got a bit more um, secured you can actually take the pins out as you go um, it's nice to see <laughs> how people have been embracing the panels like you were saying was it the Newcastle uh, I think it's Newcastle Embroiderers Guild yeah. that rang us up and said, oh, we've seen the panels, um, can we have some? Because they are doing, a, a, as we said, a remote project. It's one of your suggestions that you made yeah. where, um, you know, if people are working remotely from each other at the minute and they're not getting together to do groups, then it's a really nice way for people to, to work together, but separately. Yeah. Okay, so I could I could go on and add all of these extra bits to the dress. We've not quite got enough time for me to do that and show the other things I want to show. So I'm just going to stop that there, bring that up, take all my pins out, snip it off. Oh, come here. There we go. Got it. So let me shuffle this out of the way. And then we're going to take the paper off first. So it's it's almost like um, uh, when you uh, do stamps or yeah. you used to pull checks out of checkbooks. You want to kind of support your stitches and then just pull it to the side. It's sometimes easier if you start it off like that, and then you can just pull away. Like it's a it's like it's perforated, but what well, is perforated paper now because we perforated it with the sewing machine needle, and yeah. because this paper isn't as heavy as uh, things like your copier paper, it's not going to blunt your needle quite as quickly as well. I mean, eventually it will, but it's going to it's going to need to be changed over time uh, with projects anyway. Right. They say change it every project, but I think that's a bit of a it's a bit of a kind of wide mark that because you don't know how big your project's going to be now this piece I want to take off reasonably carefully so I'm actually just going to give that a little bit of a fold before I tear it to make sure that this comes off in one piece because I want this for later on once I've cut that dress off then I can come back in and take this piece put it back on and put those legs back in so give that a little score and because it's already perforated on the other side this should come out really easily there you go one little bit at the bottom so we're good to go and then I'm going to snip round I should have brought the smaller scissors coming qu as close to the edge as I can get and I did have a lovely little pair of snippy scissors and then I'm going to go back in with just the um, bottom piece the little kind of legs of the mannequin I'm sorry I got my hands in the way now um, I'll turn it round 
I just didn't want it to be the wrong way round for you. There we go. Now, so yeah, I do need my smaller scissors to get around this neckline, really, because these are absolutely ridiculously huge. Um, and I should have, I should have got them while I was at the car, shouldn't I? Wow. I just cannot believe the, the well the speed you did the speed you ran. We've got about a couple minutes left. You'll be there and back before we know it. <laughs> but then you'd have to do some work, Yanis. Mm. Best stay where you are. <laughs> Best stay where you are. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's just been colouring. No, but look what look. I did. <laughs> oh, you fit it. Oh, you've got the anchor now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fancy the anchor. It might be brass. With it is meant to be yeah. brass with the metallic pens, which we still have stock off. Now, all I can say is, using those metallic pens, you can see the coverage, the flow. They are beautiful. They really are not lovely to work with. You can heat set them on your fabric, and uh, you're getting a £15 saving. The other set has sold out, and once the metallics go, they're gone as well. So take advantage of that £15 saving, £14.99 for all 10. Okay, I hopefully have enough minutes just to get this finished off. So, pin that in place, so you can see I've, I've added the dress, and then I've pinned that back in place. And I don't think I'm going to get time to do it properly, but I would sew all the way around those, and then take that last piece of fabric off. And you can see you okay. can use them for applique, you can use them for um, your just your quilting. So we've got a couple of one there, one there. There's not enough time. I'll give it a go though. Give it a I've go. I've made such a mess. I'm sorry. Well, it's okay. Uh, you've got another show today, right? I have. Yeah, I've got another two. I've got the other two one day specials for Fabric Freedom. Okay. Different hat this oh, hour. But no, no, no other shows. No more craft yourself silly ones. Oh, okay. No. Well, sorry. I think you know four hours of me is enough for anybody, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you say that. <laughs> we've got a lot of people who love watching you, honey. <laughs> well, they don't want four hours of me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. It's a cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm not going to get it done, but you can see kind of, I'll tell you what, I'll bring it into the, I'll show you quickly in the 12 o'clock yeah. Fabric Freedom Hour. Yeah, if you tune in for 12 for the one day special, Hayley will flash what she was going to do. Yes. Uh, Hayley will flash? Give a flash. I'm, gl uh, I'm glad you uh, quantified that. <laughs> what she's making. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Please make sure to check out your baskets. You will not be disappointed. What a fun show and I can't wait to see what you get up to and what you create. Thank you, Hayley. <laughs> Lovely waving, it's very regal. Uh, we've got more coming up because the Queen of Craft is up next. We've got Barbara and Paola. Do not go anywhere. See you in a moment. Uh, so, <laughs> Crafting with Clarity on Weekend Wow, up next with our lovely Paola. After that, we've got Taylor Taylor dressmaking. Ooh. Uh, and then we have our Fabric Freedom well, One Day Special. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Welcome, if you are just joining us here at Hertanda, we are celebrating Clarity Stamps 27th birthday. And what better to way to do that with a weekend wow. Now, this weekend wow did uh, launch on Friday to start the celebrations. And this is the final live hour in which you can see it. Now, it is approaching limited stock. That means that 90% of the stock has already gone. Now, in here, you have got the beautiful Pergamano parchment puppets. But we have got, of course, an amazing expert to tell us more about this amazing collection. Uh, joining us through Skype, Paul Church. Uh, hello, how are you? Good morning, Paola. I'm very well. Yourself? I'm very well. Now, I love the parchment puppets because they are something a bit different from what you, we usually have seen from Clarity, but it is kind of linking with Pergamano history as well, isn't it? That's right, Paolo. Um, basically, this is the first time since we've owned um, Pergamano that we've gone down this route in relation to licensed artwork. And Linda Williams was talking to Barbara and said, back in the day, Pergamano had a range of beautiful artwork from Marina Felatova, and it was printed on vellum. And so the difference between vellum and parchment is vellum's normally about 90 GSM and below whereas parchment is a lot more sturdy of 140 GSM and above. Um, so what we decided, who, Barbara did some investigating and we got in touch with Marina Felatova's agent. Um, and then this is where the beautiful puppets have, have come from. Um, so we've got three collections in the Weekend Wow with a fantastic saving and a folder to keep it all in. Um, and it's just absolutely exquisite, it really is. 
It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of the things I noticed, the first thing I noticed is, is that, of course, you, you have got these three collections. You have got the Whimsy, the Flower, and the Christmas, which have got a character in each of the pop puppets. But each of the uh, sets has got six different designs, and one of each, uh, so you can see the kind of beautiful color ones, but you also are getting the, uh, just the black outline. Uh, um, now, can you tell us a little bit why is the thinking behind having a full color and the black lines yeah absolutely it's the versatility powder and we try and give value for money and sort of different ways of using the product so basically you've got the beautiful colored artwork which has all been done by marina for us all that hard work's been done um, and as Barb, as you know, with Barb, Barb's a stamper. I mean, that's where Clarity Stamp started 27 years ago, um, which was through see-through stamps. But a lot of people struggle with stamping or stamping onto parchment because it, it is a, a technique. So Barb had the idea, because we had this beautiful artwork, why not do beautiful coloured illustrations, but then also the black line art as well, so that people can then change the colour of the design, um, do some white work if they want to sort of give that a go um, and it just gives a beautiful different look to it. It is a kind of a love because I'm going to show you one for instance one with the black work so you could uh, and you are so right uh, stamping onto uh, parchment or vellum is incredibly hard so having it just the black outline means that you can color it for instance like this. I also love the fact that you have got three very distinct uh, sizes in each of these puppets. That's right, and the reason we did that, um, when we looked back at what Pergamano had done previously, you got sort of, say, six or eight of the same character, of the same size on one sheet. And therefore, you were sort of, in a way, you was restricted with what you could do with it. So the reason we did three different sizes, and it took us hours, there was a, a group of us, there was, we were sat around a table with all of our dies, one person concentrated on the circle dies to see how they would fit around each one, um, so that there was enough spacing in between, so you get, you can cut the circles out. I mean, I've got some little boards here, if we wanted to have a look, Paula. Yeah. If I go to my overhead, you can see here, this is where, using our Pico rectangles, and that's sort of been cut out, and so you can see perfectly the different sizes of the images together with the dies. That's perfect. Then we've got the lovely circles, and again, they just look so exquisite, and this is from the Whimsy collection. That's beautiful. Then we've got our square dies as well, um, and then, I know this is Barb's favorite, the oval die, these just work beautifully with those as well. So that was the reasoning behind having the, the three different sizes on the sheets, so that you could really sort of, really get to use to it. And even if you're not into your parchment craft, um, if you've got your normal dies, your normal nested dies, then you can obviously just cut them out and it's an instant card straight away. It is indeed. And I think that if somebody, for instance, the, the one day special from yesterday, those beautiful frames, those beautiful uh, lattice work that you could create with the piercing and the pico cutting as well, uh, that works so well. And here you can see it so beautifully with uh, those gorgeous, uh, you know, with the vellum. And you don't need to do much, like you were saying, Paul. But then, it's just if you want to do wide work then it's extraordinary well it is the weekend wow you have got a massive 23 pound saving we are celebrating after all clarity's 27th birthday here at hochanda and if you want to go for the weekend wow, well we have you have got the two options one of payment of 49 pounds and 96 pence or two interest-free payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence now also to celebrate that 27th uh, birthday uh, clarity has given it's one per customer during the event, but this beautiful free gift, one, as I said, one per customer, in which you have got Barbara's favorite background papers, 8x8, eight eight, beautiful. You can see the two designs in here that you will get with the one order, the first order that you put through Clarity during this event. 641236 is your item number for the weekend wow. And of course, it is approaching limited, so do check out your baskets. And remember, it's also the, the final live hour that we are going to have of the weekend wow. We also have got other uh, play items from Ruby this time. Of course, that is the ability to transfer those beautiful designs into parchment. Paul, uh, what do we get here exactly? 
Okay, so initially what we're getting is Barbara's handwriting. Um, so this is all Barbara's own handwriting, and what we've done, we've turned them into three beautiful A5 square plates. So you've got the Christmas one that we're looking at there on the left, and then moving into the middle, um, I mean, look at this. I mean, you've got that beautiful sort of scrolling handwriting. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is. So, and with the parchment, with the groovy system, you can mix and match. So you can sort of make up your own sentiments as well from that. And then in the middle, you've then got the months and numbers. So again, if you wanted to personalise for a specific birthday or December 25th for Christmas Day, you've got that versatility in there as well. And in addition to that, you've also got the ordinals on there as well. Um, so it can really sort of stand out. It is And gorgeous. then finally on the, sorry, Paula. No, 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 I was just saying that it was gorgeous. And then on the third one, you've then got all the, the relations. So you've got husband, wife, granddad, grandma, in-law, step, cousin, friend, nephew. It just goes on and on and on. So again, it's all about the personalization on these. It is indeed. And then, of course, you can see how well it coordinates with the uh, beautiful Pergamano puppets in there as well, like Happy Birthday or, uh, and then that beautiful scene in there. Now, the frame, the beautiful work is, was from yesterday's One Day Special. And that is the thing about, um, you know, clarity that you bring Kruby and Pergamano, but everything coordinates, everything has been worked. So if somebody invests into the weekend work for the first time today, they do it with the confidence, don't they, that, you know, the groovy will help them to advance into the parchment uh, journey. Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the great things about the groovy system is that it makes the initial line art really, really easy. And that can be the most difficult part to get when you get started on that journey. Because if you don't get a nice image when you start, it will put you off. Um, so the groovy system makes that foolproof. Um, because if you can hold a pen, you can use the system. So with the Weekend Wow, if you're into your parchment, then that's fantastic because you've already got all the bits and pieces to go with it. But if you're not into your parchment, then we've also got another set on the um, show, which is the Groovy Accessories Kit, which gives you the tools that you would need to have a go with it, and also the blue mat and a double-ended eraser. So if you think, I really don't want to go down the groovy road, but I want to try doing some white work, then it's a fantastic kit to sort of get you going on that journey. We'll have a look at those ones at some point during this hour. But, of course, uh, I wanted to mention, they give the details for the uh, Groovy A5 Squared Play Trio, the Barbara's Relations, Months, Numbers and Christmas 280768 is your item number. And let's have a quick look at the website because there you can find everything that you will need for this up. Uh, you know, parch work and a groovy as well. You have got including the, of course, the nest as a scallop circle and a square that helps to frame. But then you also have got, the, of course, the puppets in there individually if you want to. But of course, the value, the saving is when you go for the weekend wow because it includes as well the storage folder there. And the accessory kit in there, you have got the embossing, you have got the A4 craft mat, the two double ended tools, and the eraser and the pencil. Of course, it is the one that Paul was mentioning there for 19 pounds and 99 pence and then uh, of course Paul uh, are you ready to demonstrate through Skype absolutely okay. take it away then <laughs> okay thank you so I thought what we do have a look so with the the ones at the weekend wow basically you're gonna get all three collections and you get this fantastic storage folder um, and so what I've done I've loaded up my folder so I can then flick through and then we can see exactly what we've got in here. And what it does, it protects our parchment because we don't want to damage it. Um, and when you look at the different sides, I mean, I've got the coloured images showing, but behind there, if I take out a complete section of this one, so I've got a piece of white card there just so that it sort of stands out a bit better. And then you're going to get three different colour, three of the same design in three colours. Then you're also going to get three sheets of the same design in the black line art. So you can see then I've got all that together. I can pop it back, pop it, pop my poppets back into my folder. <laughs> and then it's all nice and safe. So that's the whimsy collection. And then we've got the flowers. And again, you can go through and you can see exactly what you've got. We've then got the Christmas collection as well. 
And it, for me, it, it, it's just a real storage for crafters is sort of like is a must have really because especially when it comes to parchment. So if we have a look at the sort of designs in a little bit more detail, let me just bring in this is using the, the larger of the images. So we can see here, this is the Whimsy collection, which we do have, all the collections are available individually, but as you said, Paula, the best saving is going for that weekend wow. So you can see here how we've got the, the line art together with the colored image, okay? So we have Pier, we've also got Peach, we have the lovely Ping, then we, oh, where's, where's the color pop? Oh, Polly's done a, she's, oh, there she is, she's oh. gone out of order. <laughs> so we've then got Polly, she flew away, she obviously went to see someone. <laughs> then we've got the lovely Pippin, oh. and we have the Pixie. So that, you're going to get all of those in that one set, okay? And this is just the A5, and you're going to get that, three sheets of that, but in the three different sizes, as we said. So if you're going for the collection, you're going to get 324 individual images. Wow. Yeah. Um, so that's a lot of cards to make, whether you're doing parchment or whether you're doing um, just general card making. So we've got the lovely Pippa. This is from the flower collection. We've got the beautiful Posy. We've got Petal. I love this one. The little fish just coming out of the little pond there. Um, then we have Primrose, then we have Poppy, and then finally we have Petunia with that lovely birthday cake. So that's the flower collection. And then finally we have the beautiful Christmas collection. So we've got the gorgeous Presh, we've got Put, the little bunny rabbit, then we have Pumpkin, it's loading up the, the sack with all the presents for Christmas. Then we've got Pearl. Then, whoops, then we have Paloma. And then finally, we have Prue. So when you look at this artwork, um, Paula, it's absolutely gorgeous and can be used for, for so many different occasions. I mean, obviously the Christmas ones, obviously for Christmas, but the flower, um, the whimsy for me, are just so elegant and they're sort of like, got the long stockings and, and everything else. So I thought it was nice just to show those off. Definitely. And then in, in the 11 o'clock show yesterday, what Barbara did, Barbara showed us um, this technique. I'm gonna try and bring this in on this camera here to see if we can pick up See how this one here, how it's got a pattern on the dress. Can we see that okay? Yes, we can, yeah. Yeah, so you can see there, Barbara's added some detail and she did that using the basic grids. So if you wanna see how that was done, how you can add detail to the designs as well, then go back and watch the 11 o'clock show from yesterday or you can check out Barbara's blog, barbaragrayblog.com, and she's done a step-by-step -step showing exactly how that works. And I wouldn't even thought about it, but if you think, because this is printed on parchment, it's the same concept as our designer parchment, because the ink is on one side. Um, so check out the, the previous show, and you'll see exactly, and it just adds that little finishing touch to it. That sounds great because it sounds like there is so many possibilities. And of course, you are getting, you know, those gorgeous uh, designs. So you're getting six uh, different puppets in each of the three. So you're getting, is it 18 different puppets? Um, you know, the characters. They are, and I think each of them offer a different personality. And being printed on that apartment, um, it's just gorgeous. Now, I love also as well the storage that comes in, and I do will want to remind everybody to check out their baskets. This is the weekend wow with that amazing saving of £23. We are very close to calling limited stock, so please do check out your baskets because uh, now, if, if once that we say limited stock, everybody jumps in the phones, and many people then will miss out. Uh, now, we're joining, uh, well, let's join back a poll on through Skype. Thanks, Paula. I thought what we'd do, we'd also just, while we, I'm going to take one of the characters and just show you something that can sort of make a difference. So she's, I've just taken the A5 in, that helps if you can see, doesn't it? <laughs> so I've just taken the, the A5 image and it's just on a piece of white card. 
and you, so you can see the beautiful of it and the vibrancy of the colour. However, if you take some of our uh, um, coloured parchment, so this is the A4 two tones, the soft tones parchment, and what I've done, I've just cut it down to A5 just to show you, and if I pop that underneath, what it does is it changes the tone of the image. It does. So it gives you another look. So again, if I swap out and bring that one in, so you can see you can get a very subtle change by putting another layer of parchment underneath. And it depends on the tone, depends on how it will look. So if you think, oh, it's a bit too bright or you want to just change it, then it's a good way of sort of toning down if you want to and then enhancing it in other ways. So that was just a, a little way of just showing you another way that you can sort of use the actual designs. So what I wanted to do for the first demo, this is a lovely card that um, Tina Cox has popped together for us. Um, and Tina's used the, um, the black line art design and used her own colour. Now, you know how I showed you by putting the par coloured parchment underneath, it changes it. So what Tina's done, she's used a red parchment underneath. But if I take a white piece of card and just slide that in underneath, watch what happens. The vibrancy wow. of the colouring in, it's like one of those magic cards, isn't it? It is. But look how, how different it looks by having that white background. So again, you've got that versatility of changing the tone of the colouring in as well. I mean, if I could just go half and half, then you can really sort of see the difference, can't you? Absolutely. Okay, so where do we start on this one? So Tina's very kindly put all the bits and pieces together for me. So to start off with, what we've done, let me just get all the, the bits that I need out. So what we've done first is we've taken our Pico square dies and groovy plate, and we've just die cut out a square. We've cut around her. There we go, if I take that off. There we go, so you can see she's just been die cut to give that beautiful Pico edge around the outside. Now you don't have to go with Pico dies, you can go with your normal nested squares or circles to complete, to cut her out. Okay, so we've got her there, so we're gonna pop her to one side, pop the poppet to one side. And then what Tina's then done is she's taken the, um, the nested scallop square plates we've got on the show. So you've got the square and the circle together. And we've used some red parchment to trace out the design. Okay. So you've just followed it through and just put that beautiful frame around the outside. Now, if you went for the one day special from yesterday, then that would be great to use as well but this just shows a really sort of beautiful, elegant look to it. Okay, so that's nice and easy. So when I bring the, the card in, we can see this is this area around the outside, okay? Now, for those of you that are not into your parchment and you just like the designs and you just wanna do some coloring in, then these images, the, the black line art, are great for that. So what I'm gonna do now is if I take a piece of white paper that I seem to have buried underneath everything, so let me just grab a piece of white paper, and then you can really sort of see that design, can't you? It really sort of stands out. Perfectly. So I know that this is slightly brighter on this side than it is on that side, so I'm gonna work on the back to do my coloring. And to do my coloring, what I'm gonna do is use my Perga liner pencils. Now, you can use everyday pencils, um, but the Perga liner pencils, these are, I'm using the B pencils um, that are a wax-based pencil. So what that means, if you're used to working with parchment, you get a beautiful blend of color. Now, when you're working with the pencils, all you need to do is just apply a very, very sort of soft coating down. So all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of scribble of the red across the bottom, and we'll put some on her, this is on the, her sort of her jacket, okay. And I really am, you can really see that, if I hold that up to the camera, you can really see I've just scribbled it on. Because I want to blend, I don't want to go in heavy. Okay, yeah. Okay, 
And then I'm going to take a, an orangey colour and I'm going to go just above that with the orange. OK. And then I'm going to take a yellow and I'm just going to put some yellow at the top. Now, it looks a little bit bright and it looks rough and you think, oh, my goodness. What, how are you going to deal with that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some Dorso oil and pop that onto a sponge. Now, with the pencils, we've got a special offer where you get the blending pen as well with free nibs. But we've also got a, a set on the show where you get the blending pen with extra nibs. So all I'm going to do, I put the nib into my blending pen. I'm going to pick up some of the oil and then get rid of it. Because if you have too much, what it's going to do is take that colour away. So I'm just going to start to go in and I'm just going to blend in that yellow to start with because that's my lightest colour. And it, for me, this really transforms the, the pencils. And then I can come down and as I come down, I'm moving into the next colour. And then I'm going to go down into the red. You see, we can really see now how it's starting to, to transform. But I've got lines, haven't I? So where I've sort of brought that dark red into the, the colourway. So let's just do this bit over here. So what I can do now is take a new nib or a clean nib. I'll just find one in my pot. So I keep all my nibs so that I can go back to them. And then I'm just going to use it dry. And then I'm just going to start to blend that in. Because there's enough oil, the oil's evaporated. But what it's doing, can we see the difference on that? If Definitely. I bring that up. Very clearly. You can see the difference now where I've used the, the dry nib. Where I, and then I use the nib with the oil to start with just to break it down. OK. So then, for me, uh, colouring in is sort of very relaxing, just like the groovy system is as well. So now I can bring that colour in, and I've taken away the harshness of that red, and it's really sort of softened it. Now here it's not moving, because I only pop a little bit with the oil. So I can swap my nib out, go back to the one that had the oil on, see, and start to see how it's moving around now. Yeah, it's kind of almost like magic. It is. And for me, it, it's the oil that really makes a difference when you're working. And you can use these pencils and the oil on cards as well. It's not just for parchment. But you can see now how we're really starting to sort of get a really nice sort of soft blend of colourway. Now, if for example, here I think, oh, I've, got a, I've put too much colour on, then all I need to do is taking a razor pencil and I can remove some or I can remove all of the colour wow. and start again. And for me, that's the magic of working with the pencils to be able to do that. So if I hold that up now so we can hopefully see how we've got that beautiful sort of soft blend of colour. That is incredible. And it's so easy to achieve it. There's no skill required for me that the skill is the, the blending pen with the oil. That's what makes it and brings it, makes that difference. So then what we would do, we'd carry on colouring that in. And I've got one here somewhere. Everything is hiding on me today, Paula. I think the little gremlins are in the Well, in the, the puppets, the puppets have been flying around and doing mischief. So there we go. So we can see now how we've got that beautiful coloured in design. So again, this is where if you're not into your parchment craft, but you like your colouring in, this is why the black line art is good for that, because you can do that as well as having the coloured images as well. So then what we could do now, how are we doing for time? We, ha we have got about halfway through, so we have got about 25, 20 minutes. Okie doke, super. So what I'll do, should we put a little bit of bling on the little poppet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is where the, um, the Perga glitter comes into play. And again, just because it says Perga on it and it's from Pergamano, it doesn't mean it's just for parchment craft because it's a beautiful translucent, um, ultra-fine and ultra-static glitter. 
So what I'm going to do, you've got six different colorways in here. You've got hints of pink, blue, gold, copper, silver, and pink. So I think we'll go for a little bit of the hint of pink. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that there so I don't get these mixed up. And I'm going to take the lid off of my sticky ink. And then it comes with a mapping pen, which is like a, a, a fountain pen. And then all I'm going to do is load up the, the nib and I can decide exactly where I want my glitter to go. So, for example, if I want it to go on the middle of the berries, I can just do that there, put a little bit on that button. But again, because you've got that fine point, you can be really specific on where you want that glitter to go. And will this technique and this glue work on any card of paper? Yes, it will. You'll need to test it first because some card is more absorbent than others. Um, so and if, it, if the card is too absorbent, for example, what happens is that the glue can sink in. Um, but whereas with parchment, it's, it's non-absorbent. Um, so that's why parchment doesn't like water because obviously there's nowhere for it to go, so it just sort of buckles. I um, so I would always say test it on the card that you're using and to see how it reacts. And then just to clean your nib, you just need to run it under a warm tap um, and then just wipe it dry. So I'm going to pop the lid on there so that I don't try and pour that over my artwork instead of my card. And then we're going to take some Perga glitter and then we're just going to sprinkle that over. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, make this for us so we know it's top quality. Okay, so I'm going to just, I'm going to pop this on the floor out the way and I'll pop this back in the, the pot in a minute because I know that time is going to get the better of us, I think, in this hour. So now when we have a look, if I bring that up, you see how we've got that beautiful sparkle yeah and but it's so delicate and that's one of the great things that's why we went to wow to get that super ultra fine glitter so that it doesn't overpower the design that's so cool. then when we look at the finished card that um tina's done for us you can see it's just a case of just matting and layering and um, we've used the pergamano brads just to attach it because we know parchment is difficult to attach because of the translucency. And then we've used one of the Christmas sticker words just to finish it off. Now you could, because we've got the, um, the sentiment plates on the show as well, the um, Barbara's, um, the Christmas sentiments, the relatives um, and the mums, you could have used that to put a sentiment in as well. So it's all about having that sort of versatility and um, and seeing what you can come up with. That's good. Cool. Thank you so much for showing us that through Skype. Uh, we will be joining Paul in a second, but I will have got some news uh, about the weekend. Wow. Now, it is now officially limited to stock, which means that 90% of the stock has already gone. If you want to yours, do check out those baskets. What you're getting is those beautiful Pergamano puppets. You are getting, uh, you have got three different collections in here. The, you have got the whimsy, the floral, and the uh, flower. And and the Christmas ones. You are getting six designs in each of these ones in both on color and black uh, printed onto that beautiful translucent material that allows you to use your parchment techniques, you, your beautiful ruby plates, and you can see here the Whimsy collection. The puppets that work by Marina uh, Fedotova is extraordinary. You are getting 36 sheets in each of those designs and you are getting three of each design. We have got beautiful ways of using it. You could just be just die cutting with circles and you could then add a little bit of glitter like Paul has done. What about, oh, that looks a little bit like Barbara. It does, I totally agree with that. And then we, uh, this is, I think, Leone. I think this is a kind of a very Leone like, uh, like kind of looking at the, the box in here and with a beautiful to do. And you can see there is very little Pergamano technique, it's the white work here, but it's the dyes that do a lot of the work. But however, 
if you are a Pergamano artist, a Pergamano crafter, uh, you know, you have got years of experience, they are perfect to add that beautiful ready color or you can use, like of course Paul was showing, the ways of coloring in. Remember that each of those puppets come in three different sizes. Sizes that they have been curated so they will feed the dyes that the first clarity bring for you, the nesting dyes. But what about all those beautiful, gorgeous, you know, borders and grids that Groovy do? Well, they work phenomenally well. It is everything co coordinates. It's the fact that you can bring in techniques or you can make it as simple as possible. It is up to you and your skills as a Pergamano artist or a groovy uh, aficionado that it makes it a, such a pleasurable crafting journey because it's all the, about the artwork, the focal point with the puppets. And I love the fact that you are getting the black, the printed into black, because that means that you can color them, bring in those perga colors, bring in those markers if you have got them. Right, and I need to tell you that we can well. Please do check out your basket. It is now limited stock. This is the final live hour of the weekend well, celebrating 27 years of a clarity stance. Now, Paul, uh, joining us through Skype, are you ready? I am indeed. Oh, great. Uh, so we, you have got about 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So I thought what we'd do, we'd show if you're not into your parchment craft and you're just a general card maker, I mean, I say general, that you do all different things, like from die cutting to stamping, then on the show, we've also got a fantastic collection of Tina's floral corner dies, our aperture dies. And when you look at the saving you've got on this, for me, this is sort of like an, a mini weekend wow, because you've got a massive saving on this and you're going to get five different dies together with the um, storage folder. So let me show you the, the actual dies that you're going to get. So you've got the love and best wishes floral frame, and then you've got the sentiment as well. Then you've got the happy birthday floral frame, so the, the actual sentiments are all individual dies, but what we're looking at is the aperture. So we've then got thinking of you, we've got thank you, and then we've got on your special day. Okay, now what I love about these aperture dies, if I explain, let me grab a piece of paper. So we'll grab a piece of paper there and we'll put that. And I've die cut one in black using one of the designs. And um, what we mean by an aperture is that it remains within the size of the card that you've cut. So, for example, if this was an 8x8, eight eight, then you would just get that beautiful aperture window in the middle. OK. Now, with all of our dies, and most of our dies, they have what I call snippability, where you can pick and choose the different elements. So you can die cut that straight away and you've got a beautiful sort of frame or a card blank. And the idea behind the fresh cut dies was it gives you that beautiful look of paper cutting. But what I can also do is take a pair of scissors and then I can change the look and open, especially on these floral frames, I can open up the frame to create a bigger window just by snipping away that element. Now I can keep this for another project, okay. but you can see now how that has really sort of opened up the design. So let me bring some cards in just to show you what I mean by that. So what I've done here, I've taken two of the um, poppets and I've die cut with white card. Okay, so this one here has just then been, the parchment's been stuck behind and then just stuck onto a card blank. With this one, you know earlier on I showed you by putting a different color parchment underneath, how it can change the look. So it's exactly the same, but it just has pink parchment underneath. Okay. Now, because you also get the beautiful black line art, let me show you this. This is just the design on white card. And then this one here, has got the black card behind it. But what I've done, I've enhanced by doing a little bit of white work. And for that, if again, if you want to give that a go, that's where the blue um, accessories kit, the groovy accessories kit comes into play. And you can just have a practice 
and just bring out different areas. It's sort of like spot highlighting. Okay. That's gorgeous. But the card that I'm going to show you how to do, so if I bring this one here back in, and then I bring this one in over here, you can see I've changed the colour. So you can obviously die cut from a different colour card to tone in. But I know a lot of people at home have got sort of like ink pads and the Clarity stencil brushes. So to do that, what I've done, I've already pre-cut my frame and removed that little corner. And then I'll take a piece of copy paper and I'm going to use the Artistry ink pads. So there's four different sets in the collection. I've gone with the Lime Kiss because it's got a beautiful fancy fuchsia in there, which will tie in really well with the images. So these are great. You get the little storage box. It's like a little wardrobe um, with your little ink pads in there. And you've got the name on there. You've got the name there. And you've also got it on the lid. So you know when you finish, you're going to pop it back in the same place. So we'll take that lid off. I'm just going to load up with some ink using my stencil brushes. OK. And what I want to do is I want a dry brush. So I don't want to have too much ink on there. So I'm just going to take some of that ink off. And then what I'm going to do is now just brush in and it just picks up the embossing and the detail the on the actual card. Yeah. And they're very juicy ink pads as well because you have taken some ink out and still there is plenty to go. That's right. So if you, it's, Barbara's always taught me that once you load up a stencil brush, always test it on a piece of copy paper first. Because what you don't want to do is load it up and you think, oh, I don't know what it's like. And then you can then test it to see where you've got it. Okay. So what we're doing now, I mean, this also makes a fantastic stencil as well. If I kept that in one place, I could have gone through and then I would have had sort of like a shadow effect in the background. It's gorgeous. Okay. So we've loaded up and you can decide how much ink you want to pop on there but I think that's enough just to show you how it works okay so I'm going to pop the lid back on my little mini ink pad I'm going to pop it back into its place so I know exactly so if you're going to craft clubs these are fantastic as a real selection of different colorways and they're available you've got lime kiss old parchment haystack and golden turmeric and when we give them those names it's based on the first color up here um, but you've got, they've all got blues and greens and pinks and colours in them. So they're really nice selection of colours in there. So then what I'm going to do, I've taken um, one of the poppets from the flower collection and one of the poppets from the whimsy collection, you see. And then if I bring my card blank in and pop that down on there, then I can see exactly how she's going to look within that frame. Now again, before you decide which poppet you're going to go with, if you have your storage folder that you've kept them all in, you could take your die cut and just position it over the various different designs to see which one's going to work best. So then just to attach it to our card, all we're going to do is take a tape runner. We're going to pop some tape just on the back, okay, like so. Then I'm going to go with the little whimsy and I'm going to pop her just inside that frame there. And then we'll go back over it again and then just put some more tape on. But it's just that these are, for me, this is quick and easy and these dies work fantastically with the, um, the lovely poppets. They do. See? And we're just going to pop that down there. And there we see, so we've got one from the Whimsy collection and one from the Flower collection. Oh, I mean, are, it takes minutes. <laughs> they are gorgeous and quick and easy as it well. Really, yeah, they are. And that's sometimes that's what card making is all about. If you're making your cards to sell, then if you think you're going to get 324 images in the complete collection, and if you're just into your card making or doing notelets or little gift sets, then think of, and then you're selling it on. Think of how much money you're going to get back on all of those different designs. 
Indeed. And now, of course, the Weekend Wow featuring the puppets are easily limited to stock, so please do check out your baskets for that. But we are going to have a, co a quick look at the beautiful die, uh, the floral frames that I had collection. Now, there is a massive saving here, a £37 saving. When you look at the price that you are paying, £44.93, and, and the saving that you have, you also comes with a storage folder, the A5 Fresh Cut folder means that you can store it and e easily access it. Also, it's on flexible. It means that you today could only just be paying £22.47 if you are a Freedom member. And if you are not a Freedom member, then of course you pay peer and pay, but why not become one? Uh, you have got and see in here, I love how these dies, you can go a little bit more traditional uh, die cutting, creating kind of that easel card trimming a few bits and pieces to create even more of a kind of different sort of a style uh, and I absolutely adore this for a wedding uh, as well it's just beautiful isn't it with that parchment folded in half it's just kind of a hint of something what about I love this also that one because it showcases how you can die cut it twice then kind of cut it around it and then flip it over and those sentiments as well included I love how you can take it your you know your maybe designer papers die cut them and you have got the kind of subtle variations of colors oh I have got a couple more that I need to show you I also love that the sentiments are different in each set. So of course that means that you can kind of have mixing and matching them. And this one, look at that, put some acetate, that floatiness effect in here with of course some designer papers to frame it all. I love the fact that this is this is what I call a collection that it's, it's one of those ones that become part of your stash, your go-to for flourishes and flowers to you know, whether it's a wedding car, whether it's an anniversary, uh, they work so well. 665-045 and remember that you have got a £37 saving and that flexi buy option. Now, Paul, uh, are you still there through Skype? I am indeed. <laughs> well, we, you have got about 10 minutes till the, we, well, we have got 10 minutes till the end of the show. So if you want to uh, take it away, that would be great. Thank you very much, Paula. Right, okay, so I thought what we'll do, we'll have a look at the, the poppets again, and we'll do something slightly different. So you know at the beginning of the show, Paula, how I showed how you could put the colour of parchment underneath to change the look of it? But it's also not forgetting that if you've got ink pads and the stencil brushes, you can also change the colour behind it as well. So what I wanted to do was to show you how quick and easy you can sort of change the look of the parchment as well. So what I've done, I've cut one of the, the larger designs and I've just cut it down into a square. And I've used one of our nested circles to create an aperture within a piece of black card. Now, I could pop that round the outside and it frames her absolutely beautifully. So again, you could create a, a nested frame, you could do it with the Pico circles or just general dies. But what I wanted to do was to show how we can add some colour. So I'm going to go on to the back of the design, which is a softer colourway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position that through the aperture. And I'm going to line that up. And then I'm going to take some low-tack tape. Okay, and just attach that in place so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to pop some there and some there. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to take that same ink pad that I used to change the colour of the die cut. And what I'm going to do now, I need to be a little bit more careful. So I'm going to bring my blending mat in because we know that this ink pad's really juicy. And I'm going to squidge out. I mean, look how wet that ink pad is. That's so the beautiful. blending mat is great because I can spread that ink out and really sort of load up that brush and get a real even coverage on there. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to one side so I don't put my white shirt in it. Again, I'm going to test to see how much ink I've got on my brush. Okay, so again, always test it first on a scrap. And then if I bring that back into play, and all I'm going to do, we're going to sort of create a, a, an ombre um, or a, an ambience around the, the outside. So all I'm going to do now is just brush round in a circle. And what with these brushes, they're just so easy to use. 
And it really, at the moment, doesn't look as if it's doing anything. You see, and I can just build up that colour, and I'm not loading up the brush, because I just want to go on very, very softly, just to create a beautiful sort of like halo effect around the outside. Okay? Gorgeous. So now, when I remove from the back of here, he says, taking the tape off, and I remove that, we've now got a really sort of soft tone of colour around the outside. Oh, nice that's and easy. And I love the softness in the centre as well. That's right, and really, and the only way you'd get that softness is by using a stencil brush. Um, because if you were to use um, like an ink dauber or a blending tool, it can be a little bit harsh. So you get a really sort of um, um, airbrushed type of effect by using the stencil brushes. So then all I'm going to do now is I want to pop it on a card. But again, I've got options. I could use the brads to attach it. But we've also got the corner punches on the show. Okay, and these are great because they're like a little photo corner. So in order to, to do that, what I've done, I've taken a piece of white card and I'm just going to punch in one corner, okay? And then I'm going to bring this into here because I need a, I'm going to use my cutting mat, a ruler and a craft knife. And all I'm going to do is pop that into the corner, okay? And then I'm going to take my Pergamano ruler and because it's got the groovy grip on it, it's not going to slip. So I know I'm not going to cut into my parchment. Okay, so I'll take my craft knife and then we're going to trim off the excess. Okay. And I'm going to turn it round, reposition that in place and repeat the process. And because the Pergamano ruler has got the grid lines on it, I can make sure that it's going on straight. That's such a help, okay. isn't it? It does. It gives you a real nice guide on where to position it as well. So I'm going to pop that out the way now. Just pop that in there. Get rid of the cutting mat because I've finished with that. And then what we're going to do is then take the corner punch. We're going to pop that into the, into the corner. And then we'll punch the other two corners. And it's a real nice... Um, sturdy punch. I think I need to empty it. Let me just empty this because it's full up. And when it gets full up, so in order to, to do that, I should have shown you that, they slide off. Okay, so you're going to pop that on like that. You just push down like there. That slides out and then you can empty your punch. Oh, and that's... then you slide it back on, lock it in place, and then we can go again. So we're going to go around all four corners and then we're going to slot that under there. That goes just like that. So there's no glue showing but it's a great way of attaching parchment and not just parchment, you can use it for your other card as well. And then if I take a little bit of black card, we can pop that underneath and then I can bring in my card blank and that creates a beautiful, delicate looking card with that beautiful softness, okay? Now, one of the other things you can do with the corner punches is you can make a frame from it. So you can turn a corner punch into a frame. Now, on the Pergamano show on Thursday, I showed you how you could take the corner punch and turn it into a frame. So if you want to see how that was done, that was at 3 o'clock on Thursday. You'll be able to watch that on Rewind. But look, you can create a beautiful frame to go around the outside as well using the different corner punches we have on the show. That's brilliant. And of course, uh, Rewind on the Hochanda.com page, you can watch it for 60 days. So that would be great to, to check those ones out. Uh, thank you so much, Paul. Uh, now, we were going to give a reminder of what the weekend was. Well, we only have got a couple of minutes left. So um, 
we are incredibly limited for the weekend wow remember this is the last live hour for the weekend wow in which you can see all the beautiful pergamano puppets this a beautiful artwork now it is kind of lovely to have them colored as well as in the kind of black printed because that means that you can straight away maybe you are not that confident with coloring so already you have got the colored versions and then as your confidence builds you have can have you, you can then start coloring into the black printed ones now the fact that you have got three uh, of each size in one single sheet and you are getting 36 sheets in every single kit okay, and you're getting three of those bundles whimsy flower and Christmas so you have got so many possibilities I forgot exactly the number that Paul said but about 300 uh, Paul are you still there I am. In total, the collection, you're going to get 324 individual images. And um, That's 108 sheets you're going to get in the whole collection. This is amazing. And this is why it's such a good value, because you also have got that £23 saving, and you know that you will be able to create something like a gorgeous. Now, Paul, I know you're a big fan, because, you know, can you explain us exactly why you love them?